Semi final between the Spear Heights and the Steel Hawks, or sorry, Spear Heights Steel Hawks versus the St. Mary's Knights in the rematch of last week's contest, which was won pretty one, handily yeah, by, yeah. by uh, <coughs> Superior. St. Mary's hoping for a better uh, outcome this this time. Yeah, hopefully they're prepared a little better and uh, we'll go from here. Beautiful night. Four degrees, no wind. Knock on wood. No rain. Looks good. Early forecast had 80% chance of rain, but it looks uh, like it might hold off. According to the forecast, that's subject to change as Mother Nature sees fit. But uh, looking forward to a great game here tonight. I know that Coach Barlow and uh, Coach Kuroda on the St. Mary's side have been working hard in practice to uh, fix a few things, uh, steady up that defense, and hope they, hopefully they get their good start on offense today to set the tone for the rest of the game. Yes, uh, they have been working uh, hard all week, and uh, hopefully get their, uh, their offensive uh, calls uh, in order to this week. Coaches for uh, Spear Heights, obviously pleased with their effort last week, uh, putting up 50 points, uh, or mm -hmm. 50. Um, Pretty and, close, yeah. And hoping, hoping for another great performance along the ground and in the air. We got uh, Chase Chira solo here, throwing the ball and uh, calling the shots for the uh, Steelhawks. Alex Hayes, uh, number 12, doing the honors for the St. Mary's Knights. So we're about ready to set for ki kickoff. Uh, Coach, what do you think are some of the keys for the game uh, for both teams? Uh, both teams, I mean, uh, probably come up both uh, strong on both sides on defense and uh, just execute your plays on offense. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the coaches to make the, uh, the right play calls at the right time on offense to, uh, Mary's College Knights and the to uh, Hawks get some points on the board. To start the game Excellent. St. Mary's Looks like uh, St. Mary's is kicking off to Superior Heights. <coughs> and it looks like uh, Boateng doing the kicking duties for St. Mary's. And... We'll see who's back to oh. receive. Look like Deering on the back back end for um, Spear Heights, along with 18 Ben Trevisnut. So, yes. will, will we see that uh, onside kick that uh, Samir has been loving to do today? I don't know about that. They got three uh, far in the three three guys together in the far end, three in the close end here. Let's see what they do. So Boateng off the kick, and the game is on. Good kick. Underway. Oh, oh. Deering bump wobbles it. Yep. Looks to the right side. Turns back in, got a little seam. Some rough tackling by the St. Mary's Knights. Yeah, tackling a little high there. She got a little, uh, little lower on that. Number yeah. 39, good run. Nick Deering with the kickoff yeah, return. He brings it out to the Spear Heights 43. Nick yard Deering will be co called on a lot. Uh, his brother Logan Deering was the All Star uh, or last player of the game last, ga last game. Mateo yeah. Pascuzzi Bo with both the Both of them got called. Uh, oh, Mateo was. Uh, Mateo Pascuzzi off another tackle. He was our player of the game last week and looking to. Starting her off real good, yeah. Looking to repeat that uh, same performance from last week. So. Yeah, it's playoffs, huh? Yeah, this is the playoff season. You win and you're in. You lose, off to the next sport. <laughs> <laughs> basketball season started. Basketball, yeah, for our juniors, basketball. And first down from the 42. Yep. Nice stop oh, in the back, too. Yeah. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah, right at the line of scrimmage. Good job. Number 64, like 60, Albert Perot 66, on the Liam Dubois. Winger. Off the second down and 11. Shawana, yes. Nice tack. Uh, Number nice 66, tackle. Liam Dubois. Liam with Dubois the with the, the tackle. A little help from Lin Winger. Winger. There, yeah. Yeah. Winger. Got all their albums. So it brings up uh, second, second and 11 after a loss of one on the play. Yes, yeah. From the 41, 42, sorry. Full backfield. Oh. Big pitch outside to Trevor Snoot. Tries to look outside. Has to cut it back in. Nice pursuit by St. Mary's, but a gain of five on the play. Number 18. Oh, six or seven, yeah. Six or Good seven. Gain, ben yeah. Trevor Snoot with the carry. He gets six nice yards, makes it third down and nice five run, yeah. from the Spirit that's, Heights. That's uh, 49 yard five line. Five yards is uh, six or seven with the American Exchange. <laughs> Brings up uh, third and uh, looks like four. Number Maybe. 30, Cole yeah, Ray, number 71. Third and four. So. Wingus okay, yeah. Shawana with the tackle. Wingus Shawana with his name called uh, for the second well, time. That was, that was a little early last, uh, last call there. <laughs> All right. Bad, uh, pump his uh, tires here. Third and four. Here we go from the 49-yard line. Oh, try, oh, oh, good hard count. A good uh, no movement on the St. Mary's line there. Discipline. Oh, we're trying again. Up the middle. Oh, he got the first down. Good run. First down and a couple more. Yep. Number 18, I like the call. On the carry. He gets the first Nothing down. panic. Straight ahead football. Number 50, no. Mateo Pascuzzi. Mateo Pascuzzi again, yes. on the tackle again. So. Mateo's come a long way since uh, his uh, start last year in grade 9. Didn't see much uh, field or it wasn't a, a 
a factor on defense as he is uh, this year. So nice to see the big 5-0 yeah, doing yeah. his thing. Yeah, he uh, definitely improved since uh, last year and uh, with the uh, saber cuts and everything. Yeah, he did. Uh, played, uh, he's getting a lot better. And oh, pitch that's left on. again. Travis Newt. Travis Newt, outside. Good run. Looks like uh, the, another first down. And again, back to Pascuzzi again. A lot of these kids uh, just need a chance to uh, develop their, their skills. Playing summer ball, SMFL. Great programs that uh, help these kids uh, reach, their, reach their potential. So. Yeah, and uh, definitely the, the summer ball definitely improves them. Yep. You see that with uh, with our team there and uh, the senior uh, nights that uh, everybody improved <coughs> with that summer ball. and uh, so it looks like we're uh, another first down, moving the sticks again inside St. Mary's territory. Yeah. Oh, good stop. Looks like uh, Spirit Heights sticking with their, uh, their run program here. Ed gets back to the line of scrimmage, makes a second down. Who's that? 60, 64, Albert Pro on the carry. Of course, he was uh, counted on a lot last Number year, 50, especially in short or last tackle. game last rather game, than yeah. uh, short yardage uh, situations. Big, uh, big tailback, able to carry the ball, heavy runs, and Makes so we got second segment. 11 here on the, uh, what do we got, the uh, St. Mary's 50, uh, 44. So it seems like St. Mary's getting a good push uh, and then taking a playoff. So let's see if they can get a little more consistent on their uh, defensive rush. Oh, the sweep Big right sweep here. outside. Sure Travis Newt up, up. Might have the corner. Tackler gets pushed into Travis Newt. Brought down both the good 20. Run. Yeah, very good run. Number 18, Ben Travis Newt around the right side Got about for 16, 17 yards. yards. Yeah, and tight. another first down. That St. Mary's defender had a nice, uh, nice assist from the Steelhawk that uh, pushed him towards the uh, ball carrier. And <laughs> <laughs> made it a little easier for him to close the gap and uh, brought down Travis Newt inside the 25 out to 23. So we'll get first down again and again. Yeah, yeah, Spears sticking with the run game. That uh, definitely helped him last week too, so. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you'll see a lot of straight ahead, up the gut. And yeah, sweep right, the sweep, sweep right, left. Sweep yeah. left. There you go. Staying on the ground. Oh, nice tackles. Tackle. Num that? Number 40 on the tackle. Left to Noah Boyer. Ben Travis and 87, I think. For after a game of about two, makes it 87 is Cohen Carrillo yeah. on the tackle. Yeah. So, again. Nice 87, play. Cohen Carrillo, Carrillo 40, and Noah Boyer. Boyer Two-yard gain. Yeah, it's second and eight. And again, for those of you just joining us, we are 8.04 left in the first quarter in the junior tilt between the same uh, St. Mary's Knights and the Spirit, Hawks, Spirit Heights Steel Hawks. First and second and nine inside the 20. Oh, they're going for a pass this time. And nice play oh, with the catch. And can he get in? Did he get in? Marks the knee down. Oh, the there's two. no call. There's no call. The receiver looks like number 39. Pass is complete downfield. Still Nick no Deering. call by the refs. What are they doing? Beautiful one-handed catch. It's going to be first down and goal for the one-yard line. Nick Deering on the reception. There nice one-handed um, pass. Managed to bring it in. Reached out for the uh, end zone. Might have touched down a knee, and it looks like that's where they placed it on the two or three-yard line. Yeah, We're waiting catch. for the call Excellent by catch. the referees here. Again, Steve Edwards, uh, head umpire today, joined by... Host of others, uh, Jimmy Fitzpatrick, uh, Donnie Chow, Carillo, and uh, Corelli, and uh, Linklater. Paul Linklater. <coughs> so once again, thanks to these uh, umpires and referees who come out week after week and uh, help their high school football program develop. And still waiting on the call, but looks like they're going to place that ball inside the five. Looks like the penalty is against the St. Mary's Knights. It'll be Half yep. the distance to the goal line, so will be first and goal from just inside the one. I didn't see the call for the uh, penalty coach. Uh, uh, it was a late probably hit. late hit on the uh, quarterback there, uh, oh. Chase. Late hit on the quarterback. A nice ball thrown, <laughs> and of course, uh, St. Mary's back on its heels a little bit. Didn't have his uh, their secondary out uh, to cover the flats, and uh, made a nice throw by setting up the, the pass with the run. So. Yeah, good throw, good catch. If you didn't catch it, nobody else was there to catch it, so that's what you want. I mean, it's, yeah. Had a beautiful one-handed catch. Seems like all the teenagers now like the one-handed over the two-handed sure, <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. sure catches. But uh, uh, thanks NFL. Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, yes. if Odell Beckham can do it, do it. Why can't we, right? When kids start making that kind of money, then uh, they can catch it however they want. <laughs> catch it in their teeth if they want. <laughs> and I'm sure my old coaches like Marty Smith and uh, Jimmy McLean would love the one-handed catch. Yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not, not a big fan, but. That just means we're getting old, Coach. Nowadays, it's basically 
get the yards and catch it and fall. Yeah. And if you can make a highlight reel in the meantime, then so much, so, so much the better. Yes. Uh, it looks like with the penalty, uh, late hit on the quarterback, it looks like you're going to split the difference. Yeah, looks, looks like inside like the one yard line. So with a one yard off, uh, good time to pound the ball with a quarterback sneak or a quick, well, quick hit. It was Superior Heights, or if that was St. Mary's, I called that timeout. But <coughs> oh, timeout on the play. So Let's see what's going on here. Just a reminder that uh, this is a great weekend of uh, football. Tomorrow we will have another uh, doubleheader. The junior game starting at 445 features the White Pines Wolverines with the Cora Colts, I believe. And in the evening final, 730 here at uh, Superior Heights, we have these uh, Superior Heights Steelhawks versus the St. Mary's Knights. Uh, Matchup similar to the one today, but in the senior loop. And we're expecting great uh, weather and a uh, beautiful night for football as we finish up these uh, playoff pairings. So, yeah, Hopefully the weather uh, cooperates with everybody here. Forecast is nice, but uh, again, they called for 80% chance of rain today, and uh, here we are, nice and dry. Beautiful night for football. So play will resume with 7.43 to go in the first quarter. Say Spear Heights with the ball on inside the one. And, I get a and it looks like number six, oh. Will Madaw carrying the ball. Or under Quarterback center. sneak, yeah. So Charisola comes out. Will Madaw comes number in on a short yardage Will package. Madaw runs the quarterback sneak pulls for it in. the touchdown. And the Superior Heights Steelhawks take a 6 and a great, lead. Great march for the Superior uh, Heights Steelhawks. And as you see, they have a lot of weapons. Deering, yeah, yeah. Deering running the ball, catching the ball. Burrow with the long yards. She's Charisola running the nice uh, hmm. op options. And, of course, uh, Will Madaw running it in from the one. So it looks like uh, Madaw is going to hold. And doing the kicking here is uh, Wooten. Dylan Wooten, younger brother of Chris Wooten. Great athlete in his own right. Great hockey player, soccer player. Shout out to the Wootens today. And Dylan puts good one kick up. And we're good. Yep. Looks good for a 7 nothing lead. Number 10, Dylan Wooten. 7.41 left in the first quarter here. Lots of time to go, to but yep. obviously um, St. Mary's will want to answer very quickly. Not to fall behind as they did last week and dug themselves a little hole they could not get out of. So let's see if Mike Parlo and uh, Coach Kuroda can... Uh, Will their offense to uh, tie this one up and get some points on the board early? Maybe you should get some wisdom from uh, Chris Carr there and some, uh, and some offensive plays, and we'll see. Well, quality H2O, but uh, <laughs> he's been around the game a long time, and maybe he would uh, be served, well served to uh, put a little input there for these nights uh, yeah. as they get ready for kickoff. So looks like we're going to have a clean kick from the 45. <coughs> Again, I'm expecting doing the kicking for the Steelhawks will be uh, number 40, Logan Deering, I think. But we'll see who stacks up here. And we got Boateng back deep for the... Uh, 10. Looks like number 10 is kicking for them. Wooten. Well, Wooten is back for the kick. Okay. So we had a different place kicker at the uh, opening kickoff. Or my apologies, that was Boateng. Heck, the other way. Um, 35, looks like Behe back for St. Mary's. Brian Behe. Boateng also back deep. Looks like he'll catch the ball. There he sees it catch, yeah. to 28. And in the grass, but isn't brought down. But finally Look surrounded by... The 36-yard line of uh, St. Mary's. Number 84, Amari Valenti. Boateng with Valenti the, on the kickoff return. return. He brings it out to his own 32-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Knights. 37-yard line. Number 47, Kevin Jones with the tackle for the Steelhawks. 47, Kevin Jones making the tackle for the Steelhawks. That was one of our number switches. So apologies to Jaden Caldwell wearing 65 tonight. So St. Mary's looking to pass early, mix it up, or who stay along the ground? I think they're going to start on the ground here with uh, no, no on the backfield here. Well, of course they will. There you go, up the middle. Hard hitter, met quickly in the backfield, falls forward for a couple of yards. Now that get some blocking up there, though. Cohen Carrillo on the carry. Number 87, Cohen Carrillo goes straight ahead and gets three. Makes and again, second down gain and a seven. three, second and seven on St. Mary's. 40, 40, 39. Almost 40. Number 68, <coughs> Carter Girardi with the tackle for the Steelhawks. Carter Girardi on the tackle. Steelhawks brings up second and eight. Number 18 in motion. Steelhawks with another oh, great middle. rush. There we go. 
Gain of a couple on the play, but oh, like third and two. The third and two. Third and two, looks like that. Number 30, Cole Reve on the carry. He gets Cole six. Cole carries for your St. Mary's. Mm, nice Second down, there. third down and three. Tackle by number six, Will Madaw. Tackle by number six, Will Madaw. So Will Madaw getting in on both sides of the ball. Oh, jeez. Second and three, second and four. Oh, third, third and four. Third there and there four. Go. Up, 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 there you go. Good run. First down. Nice run to get the first like down. Noah. Moving Number 40, the Noah Boyer. 40, Noah Boyer, Boyer on the carry. way forward for five yards on the first down. First down and 10. Knights on their own 50. Looks like a running game so far here on both sides of the ball. Yeah. First play First play of that series. Uh, Number 62, Knights Grayson got through Monero with the tackle. For stuffed uh, Carillo in the backfield, but looks like they've uh, figured something out and got a little push on the front side. So St. Mary's moves the sticks and takes over first and 10. Noah Boyer again. Yeah, Number 40, yards. and again, Noah nice push by the Spear Heights. Two makes a second down and eight. And gains two for second and eight. Near midfield. Number 48, Lucas Crookshank. Guys on the uh, St. Mary's offensive line there, got to block a little longer there. Don't leave them in. Yep. <coughs> sustain. Yep, and sustain. And sustain and push down to second level. Perfect. Lucas Crookshank on the tackle for Spear Heights. Some names we haven't heard yet, but uh, Crookshank looking for a big game tonight. Well, oh, run by uh, Hayes. Hayes, was that a broken play or was it called and they called it in his number? Well, he didn't look like he was going to hand, hand it off. So it looks Quarterback, like he straight keeper, up. Alex yeah. Hayes the gets keeper stopped sure. at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and eight. Interesting call at second and eight, but. Uh, number 47, Kevin Jones with the tackle. Yeah. Back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a little short loss, but uh, yeah. brings up third and eight. So probably stay along the ground unless they want to do some razzle dazzle in the air. Coach Barlow indicating that they might have to mix it up if they can't get the running game unhinged. Well, I seen them earlier. They're warming up and stuff in practice. So I think they're gonna throw here. Yep. Drop the pass. Nice pass. Wide's open. Ah. And a nice timing route. Pass just past the. Uh, Alex Hayes pass intended for number 87. Outstretched arms of Cohen Crillo. Nice play design. Good call. Man was open, but uh, Alex Hayes just waited. To, needed yeah, to wait another second over, yeah, and just uh, just it a bit there. Just uh, needed to let uh, Crillo run under that, but. Uh, well, we're punting. Yep. Fourth down, back to punt for Boateng. And it looks like Deering is back to receive the punt. Let's see if a nice snap will be key here. Let's Boateng see if they'll probably take it right to him. Huh? Oh, straight up. Straight up and down, only about 15, 20 yards. 48. Oh, nice catch pickup. by 48. Lucas Crookshank with a nice re reception. <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a win. He his field linebacker. By 48, Lucas with some, uh, showing some nice hands there. there. So a 45 yard on the first down and 10 for the Steelers. Not much, uh, not much net gain on the uh, on the punt, but uh, that'll bring up uh, first and 10 from the 46. Battle looks like, barring any penalties. Spear Heights will take over from the 46. It looks like. Mari Botang with the punt. Kirkshank with the reception. Oh, was there a penalty? There, there, there was. They're marching. So five yards. Five yards to the 50. Looks like so. Let's see, uh, Jimmy Carillo will spot it on the 50. So just inside their... Uh, Spear, their uh, Spear Heights. Spear inside Heights their end 50, zone. Yeah. Inside their... Inside yeah. midfield. 4.45 left in the quarter. Thank you, Coach. And they split from a full back out to a wing. And whistles blown to end, indicating some confusion with the referees. They'll sort that out. We'll be back for the first down. Spear. 441 to play in the first quarter. 7 0 with the Spear Heights leading. Looks like we'll run the ball again. Share solo under center again. Quick hitter to Deering. 39. Bounces off his man. Gains about three or four yeah. on the play. Number 39, Nick Deering on the carry. Nick he Deering gets two carrying the ball. Second down and eight. Get the number on the tackle in just a second. Number 71, Wingish. 71. Shawana with the tackle. Wingus Shawana Wingus with another playing big very game. well to, uh, so far. Got himself a great season. Definitely, uh, we've seen a big improvement from him from last year as well. Absolutely. Oh. Well, sometimes all these kids need a chance, and uh, Wingus making the best of it. Sure, solo under center again. Looks like oh, that sweep is going to work yeah. left to oh. Travis Snoot. Stopped right. in the backfield. Hey. 
Good job, winger again right there. Number 18, Ben Travis. Again, 71 on the play side, with assistance from some black the Steelhawks. He read that well. Yeah, see, they, nobody, you couldn't go outside of him. He had to cut it back in. Everybody's there. Number Beautiful. 66, Liam Dubois. Number As 71, the coach wingish Shawana always preaches in practice. Tonight. Maintain that contain. Turn it back towards your help where Liam Dubois was there to help out uh, so, wingish to okay, make the now tackle. We'll see what these uh, <coughs> outside guys do here on the third and uh, eight. We'll see if they go back to the pass or they... Uh, in the NFL, this might be a third and eight, bringing up a passing situation. We'll see whether Chase Tirasolo looks oh. to the... Outside, outside. Yeah. Toss. He's got some blocking, but good gang tackling. Number 30, number 40 in on the tackle for St. Mary. 31. 31. Liam, oh, Liam. Yeah, he was no, he, was, he, he got outside and he made that guy go back in. It was a good play on his part. Directed it back to Boyer, who combined with the tackle. Some great gang tackling by the St. Mary's Knights so far, so... If they can get a bigger push from their defensive front, maybe they'll you'll see the backers come up and uh, make some big oh, important stops. It. So fourth and four. Looks like Chirasolo is back in as quarterback. Yeah. Unless they have something up their sleeve here. Or does he? Does he? No. They're not showing no. punt. No, they're not showing punt. They're gonna try the option offside. Watch. Looking for a hard count. Hard count fourth yeah. and four. So. Yeah. Let's see some discipline yeah. here with St. Mary's. Good job. Yeah. Chirasolo drops out, resets, and they probably do the curl. Oh, big good stop. stop. Piscuzzi and Piscuzzi and LeBlanc. And Le Kent, good job. LeBlanc with a handful of shirt. Allows uh, Piscuzzi to step up and finish off the tackle. Yes, that's what you do. Great stop on fourth down. They'll bring up first down. First, uh, first and ten for, for uh, St. Mary's. Yes, at the... Uh, My side marker is not showing uh, turnover on downs, but uh, no. St. Mary's has the ball now from their 52, 53-yard line, so... Big stop for the St. Mary's Knights as they nice stop on the defense. Stop the yep. down seven, nothing. Down, uh, it'll be first down and ten. Count on your defense to make a nice uh, defensive momentum swing. So hopefully the St. Mary's can get their get that ball away. Ball rolling. Is that Carrillo? It looks like Carrillo on the carry at yep. 140 left in the first quarter. Number 87, Cohen Carrillo. He goes looks straight like ahead. Brought down makes again seven, by makes it second down and three. <laughs> 48. Number Lucas 48, Kruchank. Lucas Crookshank with the tackle. So again, we're seeing some great ball, a lot of straight ahead running, some, some dives, and some sweeps. Looks like uh, we got pass so Kent far. and uh, Wingish there playing both ways. There's a flag. Hey, look at that call. And Mr. Chow launching another one There's into the a atmosphere. Flag down, yeah, still, the, the flag snap. hasn't come down yet because he threw it up there pretty <laughs> far. I think it might be hooked up in the in the lights, but. <laughs> Yeah, oh, first down. Against the defense, five yard penalty makes a first down and 10 for the Knights on the Steelhawk 45. No denying. So, an offside against Superior Heights, get a free five. First down. First down. The uh, Superior Heights 45. So, again, this drive field. Rain, oh, ball hits the ground. Ooh, bad snap. Bad snap. Bad exchange between Looks center like and. Quarterback. Whose yeah. ball is recovered by number Carillo 87. Carillo is Cohen able to recover Carillo. the ball. Short loss on the play makes it second down and 12. Alex Hayes goes to the sideline to get his next play. Yeah, second 11. Looks like they're going to mix it up. He's going to the armband. Something up his sleeve here. <laughs> uh, Sides his armband. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got a full set backfield. A little mixed bag here. Got some receivers in motion forward. Carrillo looks outside, nothing there. Turns back in for a gain of three, maybe on the maybe, play. Yeah. 87, yeah. Cohen Carrillo once again. He gets, looks like about three. Makes Gotta give us uh, Spirit eight. Heights uh, a lot of credit. They seem to be sniffing out those sweeps and those uh, runs outside. 47, Kevin Jones. Forcing it back inside. Kevin Jones. Kalen Doran. 72, Kalen Doran with the tackle. So oh, we'll see. We'll see if it's going to go that same play again here on uh, for St. Mary's. Let's crawl. They're going to do. They're going to try the out here. Third and eight might be time to pass, but uh, let's see if they'll trust number 12 to drop back. Launch the ball. Looks like a hitch pass. Swing out oh, to the right side. Tackle. Well defended. That? Looks like that might be 68, but let's see. Hard to see. 67. 67, 67 is Carson Pettit on the defense. Good nice job. tackle to stop. Yeah. Stayed home and made the play. And Nicely executed. The pass was oh. nice, but... Uh, Looks like uh, same area. Yeah, yeah, switch ends. Oh. Short gain makes Brings it up the end of the quarter, seven. so we'll flip the uh, table here and we'll reset and we'll join you. 67. So fourth Carson down now? Yeah, fourth down. They should be punted and get them deep, hopefully. 
Now the last punt didn't work so well for the uh, Knights. Do we uh, see another punt or do we try and run it? Uh, last uh, last punt by Boateng went straight up and came down for a net of 15. So I think he's got a strong leg. So then we trust him that that oh was yeah. just a one off. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, they're gonna punt that away. Try to pin punt them deep. And keep the keep them deep. The defense been playing well the last series. Stopped them there in the fourth uh, fourth down. So punt them deep. Well and, played. Uh, All right. So again, seven nothing. Our junior tilt between the Superior Heights Steelhawks and the St. Mary's Knights. I'm glad you could join us. Matty Tucker and myself, Scotty Mack, here at the Superior Heights uh, Memorial Stadium. Bad snap. Bad we snap. got a few mix-ups here. And uh, I think they. I think that was a trick play. Here it goes to 42. 42, Marcus Spadafora had to recover Marcus. it. Of four, I, think that, I think they were trying to trick play there. Unique Seahawks design looked like a four. direct snap to 42. Who was maybe looking the snap to snap was a little high and uh, carry the ball and the ball was kind of in between the uh, direct snap and the punter who is back decoying. But uh, in any case, Superior will take over. And as it turns out, that's uh, worse than a bad punt. So we got uh, Superior with the ball on about the midfield inside the same area zone. At the 54. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that oh. was another flag. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Link, or referee Link, Link later throwing the ball to the sidelines. Looked like another flag, except it wasn't <laughs> pink. In any case, same, uh, St. Mary's hoping to stop the uh, the bleeding here and uh, make another big stop on defense until their St. Mary's offense can get uh, get on track. Here. Oh, they're going to short side the field. Nada looks like he's got a place inside. Nice block to... Spring him, gain him about five or six on the play. Number six, Bring back Will Madaw on the carry. He gets six yards, makes it second down and four. Will Madaw, number six with the carry. I didn't realize how big a kid number he was. Number 40, Noah Boyer with help. Tall kid, yes. Coming around the corner, looked, uh, Wing is looked pretty with imposing tackle. coming down on the Shawana tackles. again with the tackle. Good. He's having a great game so far. Absolutely. <laughs> and I love the ponytail, coach. What do you think? <laughs> Ponytails, yeah, ponytails yeah. in or out for there football players. Oh, well, look at the NFL. Who doesn't have them? <laughs> if you don't, just get them put on. Yeah, oh, extensions. 64. Perfect. That's Pearl with the carry. Green's yeah. enough for a first down. Number 64, Albert Pearl on the carry. He gets seven in the first down. It's going to be first down and 10. And the best Still part is if you're 42 yard line. Pro Bowl uh, safety, as in Troy Polamalu, you can. Number Do whatever you want. Make $60 million Serenzio during your career and then make another $20 million for head, head and shoulders. Yeah. Never got that offer, Coach? No, no, no. The offer wasn't high enough, so I turned it down. Small town, Sioux St. Marie. <laughs> I haven't discovered you. Anyway, quick hitter up the middle. Pro again. And, of course, the workhorse gets the ball, gains four. Number 64, and Albert Pro once again. He the gets motto four, is, what ain't broke, don't six. fix it. So. 63. 63, Landon Serenzia. Number 63, uh, Landon Serenzia was another tackle. And Noah was in there too, giving the hand. <coughs> Noah. No. Oh. Boyer. No, Boyer. Sorry. All right. We got second and six here. Bob Davies patrolling the sidelines, looking for some great action shots. You can catch them on SueSports.com. Pitch yeah. right. Those pitches are also available for sale. Oh, who's that? Nice hit. 64. Good run. Put good the ball run. away. 66 just had his wake-up call. Liam Dubois up to make the stop. Powerful run by number 64. Beat up by Bro. He goes around the right side. Breaks a, a couple nice tackles carry on the play. 25 yards in a first down. St. Mary's Knight down on the play, but he's trying to get back up. Looks like Boateng maybe. Looks like number 65, Kent LeBlanc. Boateng is able to stay in the game. Waves off the uh, train staff and LeBlanc with the tackle inside the 20 at the boat 15 yard line. So once again, a nice dose of uh, 64, Albert Pro. Yeah, for two, the Spirit uh, Heights two or three good runs there in a row. And there's no tomorrow here? if you do lose, so they're not shy to use them and give them 20, 30 carries today. And well, yeah, they'll probably shorten the bench a bit too, and uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so it happens. Hopefully get up to an early lead and maybe get to rest them, but in the meantime, he's gonna be called on to, uh, to carry the load and uh, Expect number 64 to get the ball many touches again. Where are they at the, uh, the, the end of the At St. Mary's 15-yard uh, line. And St. Mary's uh, a little inconsistent today. They seem to be uh, making some big stops and then uh, missing some assignments and missed tackles and giving up some big plays. So hopefully they can tighten things up here and 
let their uh, offense get back on the field. Deering with the carry. Gains about four or five before he's brought down. Number 39, five. Nick Deering on the carry. Looks like he gets about five, makes a second down and five. Trying to get a number here. It looks like 80, 66. 65, 10 65 LeBlanc. 65 LeBlanc on the tackle. Kent LeBlanc again. Okay, it looks like, according to the sticks, about second and three from the eight or nine yard line. So let's see if Superior Heights can pound it in. I'm sure St. Mary's going to have something to say about that. Up the middle again. A little delay play to Perot. Rumbles all the way for a first down inside the two yard line. So it'll be second or first and goal. Another and nice run by St. Mary's will have to come up Alvin with an Perot answer quick here. First down. It's going to be first down and yeah, goal. Good run. For the Steelhawks on the Knights three. There's positive yards every time. Huh? And it's easy. Uh, Perot is number forty-three. Hasn't uh, met a Darren tackler McCartan until he's well, well past the uh, well past the first uh, the line of scrimmage, rather. So, and I think I heard Darren Tricartin's name called. So we got a few new uh, new names and faces in on the action. Perot again, of course, familiar face, yeah. making it in, showing up the. Touchdown sign by the Number referees. Number 64, Albert Perot with the touchdown run, and the Steelhawks take a 13 to nothing lead. So, again, 13 nothing now with the uh, score. We'll look for an extra point by Wooten. Looks like Madaw again to hold. And again, that uh, front line for Spear Heights seems to be pounding out yeah, well. Yeah, the, the, the defense. The uh, offensive line's getting off the ball. Few stops, few nice uh, surges by the defensive line for St. Mary's, but as a oh, uh, through, yeah. as a body of work, the uh, Superior Heights offensive line seems to be getting out the ball and doing the, doing their job well. So yeah, the uh, St. Mary's line there looks like they're getting a little a little tired. The yeah. that happens when they're, they're on the field Dillard for a Wooten long time. Good. Exactly. It's now 14. 14 nothing after the convert by Wooten. So again, we'll see if St. Mary's can answer. You change things up yet, or is it still too early with 8.57 to go in the second quarter, Coach? Well, it looks like they tried two passes, and one was there, but it's just a little overthrown. The other one looked like a little mix-up there. Well, they, uh, the running uh, for St. Mary's is all right. Yep. I think I uh, stick with it, and uh, the, the offensive line has got to do a little more blocking there, I think. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll receive the ball again, uh, St. Mary's. Uh, the coach uh, looked at a few uh, buck passes and a few uh, counter traps and different uh, trick plays to fake right and reverse it left. So we'll see if they have anything up their sleeve. But uh, coach says steady as she goes, straight ahead. So we'll see if we get some hard running with uh, Gorillo in the backfield as well as Boyer looking to carry the ball and carry the load for the St. Mary's Knights. Um, looks like three back. Looks like uh, Primo, Bo Primo. Back with Boateng, and on the far side, can't see a number, but That's three deep. Nice kick by Spear. Catch it in the Just air. In front. Don't let that hit. Oh, the ball That's is touched. Happens, 42. Eh? 42. 42, Marcus Spadafora. I think that's the job of the coaches to realize Covered. how deep this the uh, kickoff has been over a couple of reps. Yeah, they got to move them up there. Move, 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 move up so they can catch that on the air. If you're not watching the game and you're listening to us here, what happened is the uh, kick was uh, in between the secondary set and the receivers and uh, dropped to the ground. A little panic by Spadafora just to cover it to make sure they ret retained the ball. But uh, once the knee is down, it brings up plays first over, down, yep. plays whistle down, and from their 29, St. Eight. Mary's will start in their own zen Eight zone. 50 left in the second quarter. Nice motion. We've got an end oh, around here. One block Back to make. Block. Gorilla with a block to give himself a couple extra yards 84. trying to move the pile number 84, 84 is Amari Valenti Boateng on the carry Amari Valenti right Boateng 8 That's yards eight second yards, down yeah. and 2 going Crillo with a push block go front number Stay 21 that block might have the corner but the uh, nice gain on the play gain of 8 brings up second and Nick 2 so once again you saw that motion now so got away from the straight ahead only one play does that make but uh well, it was, uh, it was a good play, positive yards, obviously. Yeah. And uh, they haven't seen it in the first half, so. Scusi under snap, under center, rather. Oh, they're throwing the second down. Give it to him. And. Oh, what do we got here? Pass intended for number 29. Holding. 29 is A.J. Romano with the attempt. Alex Hayes pass intended for number 29. A.J. Romano is incomplete. And my apologies, There's I said Scusi under like center, but Scusi at center. Shotgun for Alex Hayes, so. Most of the time, a obvious passing down. Um, 
pass intended for Romano, but uh, I think uh, Alex Hayes felt, felt a little bit of rush. So good pursuit by the Steelhawks to break that up and rush the pass. Ball's incomplete. We'll bring up second and two. Strange call to go to pass on second and two. Once the uh, well, like I said, they got to mix it up a bit. So yeah. we're going to see what they do here. It looks like it's going to be second it's and a 12. Holding against the St. Mary's Knights. The 10 yard penalty makes it second down and 12. Holding call against St. Mary's. They didn't get the number, but uh, maybe in the backfield protecting your quarterback. But yeah. anyway, it brings back second and 12. Hayes hands off inside. Nice run. Nice run. There we go. He's Keep pulling going. the pile. Nice guys. Oh, need to good help run. Out. Carrillo with a gain of 11. Hard run by number 87. That'll bring up third and Cohen one and a half. Carrillo. He drives his way forward for 10 yards, makes it third and one. Nice block by Oliver Brown. Oliver Brown, not a big kid, but big at heart and throwing his weight around there. Nice block on the play, helping Carrillo gain a couple extra yards. So that's the big uh, big third down for the St. Mary's here. They got to uh, third and one. have to get this first down. Nice hard one. He'd like to go straight up to get into Carrillo, and they Carrillo got the first again. down. Let's see if we can hold on to that ball. Falls oh. forward for a gain of six. Very nice run. No quit in 87. 87. Cohen Carrillo, another hard run. He gets six yards and a first down. And last week, I think we saw a majority of uh, the reps for Mr. Carrillo on the Lucas defensive Crump side. So the obviously they recognize they need to power the ball, get the big uh, fullback tailback in there, and rumbling forward. Stopped at the line of scrimmage and fell forward for four or five extra yards. So yeah. Brings up first down, moving the sticks. Alex Hayes, hands off. Oh, Inside. Good outside. Bumps to Carrillo. Carrillo again. Oh, uh, and nice 47. Out. Steps All out right. of bounds. But good run. 87. Nice Cohen run by Carrillo Kevin again. Jones goes on the tackle. Right side and gets four yards, makes a second down and six. Number 47, Kevin Jones with the tackle. And those same areas, uh, blockers just need to get that second phase and give Curla one chance to break it free, and uh, you could expect them to rumble for a few. A few more, yes. Yeah. <coughs> but they're doing a great job. We're marching the ball. Coach Crota has got to be happy with this. So yeah, that, let's uh, see if we can keep this momentum going. Keep this momentum down the field and blow some time off and uh, hopefully get uh, six in the end zone there. Oh. oh. A little lack of discipline there. A couple of people jumping. Flag let's see down, who they – Some movement before the snap. Flag. Will it be offside? Will it be encroachment? I just like the word encroachment. <laughs> <laughs> Word of the night. Absolutely. Sponsored by concussions. All right. So, as coach sips on another drink of coffee here, we're going to figure out who wind uh, down. Oh, defense to give it to defense. Offside. Oh, no. Defense offside is offside first. The defense, the five so, Steel Hawks accused of cheating. 625 to go in the second quarter. Will that give them enough for the first down? Or is no, no, second and one. Second and one. My apologies. So, second and one. Oh, flag again. What's he throwing the flag for? There must be some disciplinary issues. Over oh, there. I think it was a sideline, so it may be a first down now. And it's a good thing there's no penalty box in uh, football because it would be full on most nights here in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, there would be, uh, the game would be uh, ended very soon. <laughs> 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 you go feel shame. So, we'll see who this goes against. It looks like the Umpire is uh, chatting with the superior side, so they're explaining their case. Looks like the coach for Spear Heights is very vocal and not in agreement with the call. The last call, no. So that's what happens. And uh, and the rule in junior football coach is that uh, the defensive defensive side has a chance to coach but come back. Against the superior Heights Steelhawks. So I, I, I think as long as, yeah, as, as, long as they don't cross the uh, for the Knights on the Steelhawks 47. Cross the, I guess, to the offensive side. So across the plane of the ball or yep. the line of scrimmage, yep. they're allowed to get back and reset, and that's yes. obviously what the coach was uh, adamant about. Uh, Spear gets the call against on the offside, and then an objectionable conduct brings uh, the ball to Number 40, Noah inside, on the carry. He gets three inside the uh, Spear Heights seven. Uh, zone. Noah Boyer with the carry. Noah Boyer. Number 68, Carter Girardi. So couple Number 48, on the pick up. Lucas Crookshank with the tackle. Crookshank and Girardi, two uh, anchors there on the defense. Noah, Noah went off. Making a lot of big stops, so 40 is out. We see a new back in the backfield. Looks like number 30, Cole Reve. Let's see if he gets the ball. 29 in motion. And the ball goes outside Curl, to Carrillo. He might turn Curl the corner. Outside. There we go. Wingish with a block. Nice pursuit Good by run, number 26, eh? Taylor. Looks Curry. like a first nice down. Run by number 87, Cohen Carrillo. He goes around the left side and around the left side. 
Grillo picks up a few yards. Close to see the where they spot it. Close to the first down, according to Jim Monaco. Number 28. 28. Jacob Nelson with the tackle. Jacob Nelson with the tackle. I thought he got it, but okay. I thought it was 26, but. Yeah, first down. There we go. There we go. So we're going to move and the sticks. It is indeed a first down. So it's a good, uh, good offensive series for St. Mary's right now. They are marching the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More importantly, they're leaving their uh, defensive side to get a blow here and uh, yeah. take a little break to uh, reset for the last few minutes of the first half. So hopefully they can score here and make it a close game at the half. 14 nothing. Sphere right leads. Oh, who's that? Nice ball. Cole Reve, is that 30? That 30, Reve. Yes. Nice well, run. 30, well Cole Reve. He nice goes run. straight ahead for about 12 and another first A couple down. early blocks, but it looks like he did most of that on his own. So, yes. Uh, Carrying the load there. That's nice, a good uh, nice 12 and 14 yards. Yeah. Carter Excellent Nebel run. with the tackle for the Steelhawks. Carter Nebel on the time tackle. Timeout called by the Steelhawks. Oh, key so timeout. Give the uh, defense a little rest. And if you don't have the right per personnel in there, especially 527, you want to keep that 14 point lead. So where are they at there? Two they're at the 25. Uh, they're at the Spear uh, Steelhawks 25. So maybe they didn't like what they see. So call a timeout, reset, and St. Mary's will try to advance from the 25. At this time, we just uh, like to thank our sponsors, Elite B uh, Elite Eight, excuse me, Basketball Academy, our school boards here on Superior Catholic District and the Algoma District School Boards. Kiss 100.5, Freeze Frame Photos, Bob Davies, as I mentioned, uh, doing the uh, shutter bugging on the sidelines, suesports.smugmug.com. Country 104.3, we also have GFL Memorial Gardens joining us as sponsors this year, and Domino's, Sioux St. Marie, and Team Essentials hooking up to uh, provide the swag for the N uh, NFL. The high school <laughs> players of the game, sponsored by, again, Domino's, Sioux St. Marie, and Team Essentials. So uh, we have 527 to go in the first half. Glad Four you could join us here. 14 uh, 14 nothing for uh, Spear Hawks. 14 nothing. So Steelhawks, yeah. I think if I'm St. Mary's and... Coach Barlow and Coach Grota, I think I keep pounding the ball down the throat and uh, up the gut. They seem to be getting a little bounce outside with uh, Carrillo and uh, mixing it up. Maybe we'll yep. see inside trap, maybe. But we'll see what the playbook allows here. Be nice to see them uh, punch one in here before half just to uh, keep the game interesting, not like, uh, not like last week there. Yeah. Last week was over a little bit early, but uh, allowed some of the teams to get some of their seconds in and get some reps. Was that Krillin? Yeah, Krillin again, carry, yeah. Makes two makes it second down and eight. 87 on the carry, just to gain a two on the play. Number six, second Will and eight. with the tackle. I was saying earlier, Will they got to, uh, they got to uh, stick with their guys on offensive line there. They're letting them go. The guy just came up the middle. Uh, <coughs> and it's tough. What are they running there? Uh, four man, no nose tackles. So four down defensive front for Superior Heights. So. Yeah, that middle should be should be available. Gets around the corner, Boateng makes one oh, miss. Oh, good tackle Beautiful by pursuit 39. here, Deering on the play. Excellent. And thir 39 is Nick Deering on the tackle. Boateng nice way of job to, around, he gets a couple, makes to string it out five. and uh, make the stop. It was a good run there. They, they job. need that one block, he was gone. Yeah. And uh, Boateng with enough speed to get around the first uh, pursuer and uh, get start heading upfield, but uh, missed one Preach that block. to the kids all the time. You got to get that one extra block. Yeah. Yep. And it's hard sometimes when you're away from the play and you think you're out of the play, but uh, you got to sustain your block, and it could be the difference in a short gain and a big one. So oh, no. here we go. Carrillo looks like he stopped in the backfield. Hard to bring down, though. It takes three serious steel hawks. Well, Six lost, I think he lost a yard or two there. there. 62, Grayson Man Maniero. Wyatt Herb, number 63, also in on the tackle. 62, Grayson Monero. Lost the yard on the play, uh, Coach. Herb on the tackle. What are they doing here? So it looks like fourth and uh, nine, fourth and eight. So yeah. St. Mary's has a decision to make. Oh, Do you go coach, for it? Three coach called time out. Called by the oh. Oh. Coach Parlow is going to roll up his sleeves and see what he can come up with. Show off his pipes, probably. But <laughs> Who? Parlow. Mm. So far, it's called a pretty good game. This nothing, last, uh, nothing this last to, drive was pretty good, yeah. Nothing to show for it on the scoreboard, but they nope. have been marching the ball, and uh, recently they've uh, made some great progress, so hopefully they can at least get eight to move the sticks and maybe get inside that uh, red zone and maybe punch one in before the end of the half. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did just to keep the game interesting. 
That's the thing about uh, junior football this year on any given uh, Sunday or any given Thursday. Thursday night. Um, there's been some lopsided affairs. There were some two-point games earlier this season. Uh, St. Mary's beat these uh, Steelhawks by two, 16-14. Last week, of course, a uh, uh, decided uh, advantage for Spear Heights, 50-6. to six. So, once again, never to be sure on who's going to show up and uh, what team is going to come out on top. But uh, a lot of parity in this uh, junior division, so expecting some great things here. 3.45 to go. Fourth. Oh, and Kent LeBlanc looks like. Was it an offensive one? Illegal so. procedure against the offense. Five yard penalty. Right. Fourth and 14. So when they just seem to get rolling, they back themselves up again, putting up fourth and 14. Does that change anything to punt or still got to go for it that deep in the. That's a tough uh, one. A field goal won't do it, and I don't think you have the leg from no, that I distance. Don't think they, I just don't think they so have the you, kicker for it. So no. you get a point. Ethan Agua doing a lot of the duties, but he's uh, out injured, uh, working on some concussion uh, issues. So uh, Boateng probably their place kicker um, in his in his place. Oh, I guess they're going for it, yeah. But my money, you go for it. I don't know if you put it in the air or we'll run it along the ground, but you need 14. So got a full backfield here. we got lots of... Weapons, 87 in motion. These guys, the block. He's passing, go with that screen pass. Well defended. Number 32, Max Clemente. Quickly and closing on see, Carrillo. That's what happens. Pass from Alex Hayes, complete to number 87, Cohen Carrillo. Fourth and He's 14. Met immediately for a short loss. Curious call. Steelhawks will take over on Throw down. Throw to the flats when you're First down 14 time. yards to make the sticks move, but... Uh, Again, maybe 32 max Clement. Trusting, nah, trusting that outs. swing pass. Don't throw the outs. You gotta, you gotta at least throw the first down. Gotta look downfield and coach. Knight That's agreed. me, anyways. I throw the, it's really at least first down. He catches and falls. He got the first down. This one, he's got to no. Especially throwing backwards, it might. Well, uh, yeah. Have a, have a incomplete pass. And if uh, you miss a block, like what happened there, and the guy goes in and breaks the play up, and the game uh, that plays over, and they got the ball back. <coughs> Good. Three thirty-three left in the second quarter here. Good news for St. Mary's is they have to, uh, or the Severe Heights has a long field to march, so let's see what they can do. Up the gut again with Perot, it looks like. And again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Perot with a couple. But nice uh, Another hard run by pursuit. number 64, Albert Perot. Nice surge by the defensive line. The file forward for four yards, makes it second Gains down and four six. on the play. In a four-down situation again, four yards per carry moves the sticks pretty efficiently. So St. Mary's are going to have to do something here to give themselves a chance at some points before the half. As it stands right now, 14 nothing, three minutes to go. So you hear the three minute warning. Steelhawks with the second and the six. Oh, so nice pitch, uh, pitch, pitch right. Travis New with the corner. Nice tackle. Oh, close to get the first down. Ben, Travis New, he Looks like 40. Way right for the another first down, oh, I 43, believe. Ferry, 43, Darren Jacarton on the tackle. 43, Darren Jacarton with the tackle. Fantastic. His brother plays senior with us. First and ten. Landon Jacarton, and I believe they have another brother that oh. plays for Cora, so I am not. I can't come up with his name first of all, off, but uh, Darren Jacarton is a Holy Cross alumni, and uh, Great student and obviously a great athlete. So getting his first reps here, grade niner, doing a great job. Up the middle again. I've got through uh, three, four yards. Hard to see what that is. Is that uh, Pro again? Yes, it is. 64, 64 on the carry. 64, Albert Pro on the carry. Gets and they seem to be doing a nice job by pounding six. in the middle and then uh, swinging it out on the sweep. Uh, nice Number execution 40, by Chira no Sawyer. Chira Solo probably doesn't get as much credit as he deserves. Uh, he's running a nice offense, uh, nice under center. Can drop back in a shotgun. Does a nice job delivering the ball, and uh, with all the weapons, uh, he needs to just be efficient and uh, get that ball moving. So Chira Solo with the play again. Oh. Swinging it out to loud it. Or Oh, good cutback. Sorry, not loaded, but uh, Travis Newt. Yep. 18, Ben Travis Newt on the game. Wing Wingish again, winger. Another five yards. It'll be third and one. 71, Wingish Shawana with the tackle. The power of the pony. He's <laughs> having an excellent game right now. Absolutely. Yeah, he's made some nice stops. Wingish, I mentioned last week, is a great St. Paul's graduate and a uh, great player. Put in a lot of time, and he's having his uh, efforts rewarded, so... A little confusion on the defensive side with St. Mary's. They switch sides. 
Oh, good first Ball down, inside. 18 again. 18, Travis Newt. Yep. Only needed one, picked ben up Charles about Newt nine. Another nice run. He goes straight ahead inside the St. Mary's zone. For the Steelhawks on the night 47. And again, with 154 to play, St. Mary's is going to have to have an answer here. 87, Cohen Carrillo with the tackle for the night. Carrillo on the defensive stop. Yeah. He's having a good game so far, offense and defense. 63 for St. Mary's going out. Landon Serenzia, 75 coming in. William, William Iodence. So bringing the big man in, trying to get a big stop up front. And we'll see with 150 and the clock running whether Superior is happy to let it tick down and maybe punch one in for a late score. <coughs> Again, oh, Chiruso looks pass. like he's good at the pass. Has a man, puts it up in the air. Four defenders in so the vicinity. So Chirisolo to, to Perot. Perot falls in completely second down and Even 10. had it been converted, um, it looked like there Few was four defenders, yeah. Yeah. a couple, couple easy yards, but uh, would have been met by some ta four tacklers by St. Mary's. So anyway, second and 10, 133 to play. We're going to take a short break at half, but we'll be back for the second half of this tilt between the St. Mary's Knights and the Steel City Superior Heights Steelhawks. What did you put in my coffee? So second and 10. Willows backfield. Daring swings oh, out. Middle again. Oh, Adam. Stopped in the backfield. Now good pursuit. Three more tacklers jump in. Good gang tackling. 31. 39. Nick Liam Wallet. Kevin Long was there. Deering. 50. Pascuzzi with his nose in it again. Ken LeBlanc with the tackle. Ken LeBlanc with the tackle. My apologies to Mr. LeBlanc, who I've been calling LeBlanc for weeks. Confirmed with his mother today that it is indeed LeBlanc, so. Another spelling error by Mr. McPherson, so <laughs> we'll shore that up. And again, that pitch. Left out here, out here, out here. To the corner. Man is through. Nice. Uh, not bad. Good 40, stop, good stop. 43, 37, Winger 71. there again. Wingish. Then Trevis Newton on the on the left side. He gets three. The fourth down and eight. Number 71, Wingish Shawana with the tackle. Darren Garden in on the tackle as well as Wingish Shawana. And 36 or 30. Diego Garcia maybe with the help on the play. What were they going for? Yeah, they're going for it. Looks fourth like and one, two, three, four. And again, fourth I don't mind seven. this play. I mean, you're up 14. You're not going to kick a field goal from this distance. Even a punt might not get to the end zone, so. Man drops Short out. Pass again. Nice pass protection. A little wobbly ball, but picked up by Botang. It's intercepted. Can he make a make a run for it? He could go. Somebody closing. It's Deering trying to catch up, but a nice run back inside the 20. So once again, there's your momentum turning. The pass is intercepted by number 84. You, you don't throw. <laughs> Coach, nice return down no. the left side. You're up. Be first With less than a minute left. Yeah, they punted deep. The pin him, or uh, that's me. I don't know. That's I, certain times of the game, I, I like to gamble, but not, not before half. And not up 14 points. No, no, no. It's lots of time. So Especially junior football. Look at just happened. Yeah. Pick at the 20-yard line, and you ran it back 40-plus, 50 yeah. yards, and... Now St. Mary's has a chance here to uh, put some points on the board. And, of course, uh, St. Mary's has had their table set for them, so will they eat? Will they feast on this at uh, 40.1 seconds to go? Inside a minute, inside the uh, Superior Heights, Superior Heights um, zone, about the where, 25 maybe? It's hard to see. Hard, yeah, 25, yeah. Hard to see. So 25 yards to go for St. Mary's to hit pay dirt, see if they can trim the 14-0 uh, lead here. Can't see who's running that it's ball. It looks like Carrillo, I think. Carrillo again. Yep. Turned sideways, brought down by a couple. Number it is Carrillo. Number 87, Cohen Carrillo. Yep. Nice straight ahead run. Nice run. Looks like he gets the first down. And with a kid. Uh, okay, first down and 10 for the night. Yeah, they got to yeah, yeah, hurry up here. A tailback the size of Carrillo. You give him one block and he can do the rest by himself. So 34.5, clock is rolled in. Looks like somebody's calling a timeout. We got Superior Heights calling a timeout. <coughs> All right. So 32.3, bring a little excitement, don't go anywhere. Oh, Got a big finish the second, here? first half. Referees will convene and find out why the delay. Looked like a timeout called by the Steelhawks, but Steve Edwards rolling back in, getting ready. To 
Is that first down still? Yeah, 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 yeah first okay. down. They're just. So no I don't know what happened there, but. Must have been a play the, with the, the time clock. clock. There we go. Okay, reset. Here we go. Carrillo again. Runs the ball. Looks to rumble forward to the one. Nice run. Another nice hard run. run by number 87, Cohen Carrillo. He gets down inside the 27.7. line. 27.7 left to play. Lots of time. And they're running the ball well on Looks this like drive. So. First down, so it's going to be first down and goal for the Knights from the Steelhawk 2. That will certainly make for a good second quarter if we can trim this lead for the St. Mary's Knights to four, seven points. Of course, they'll need to convert once they gain in. Looks like a flag on the play. No indication of a touchdown yet. Looks like there's a flag down on down the Down inside the one, but holding. Holding St. Mary's. Yeah, looks like it. So once again, they might have to bring it back. St. Mary's Knights. 19.4 to play. 10-yard penalty make it first down and goal Knights from the Steelhawk 12. First and goal from the 12 with the backup of 10 yards for the offside St. Mary's. So again, a costly penalty could prove deadly as they try to uh, trim it to 14-7 here. Deadly. Four, deadly. Ever deadly. <laughs> Shout out to Brian Boyer. Ever deadly. <laughs> the bun man. So we've been, had ourselves a great uh, half of uh, football so far. What do you expect in the second uh, half, uh, Coach? Uh, well, you know, you know what? Uh, who gets the ball here at uh, well, St. Mary's? St. Kicked Mary's. off. Boateng okay, kicked yeah. off to uh, Superior. So St. Mary's. St. Mary's will get the ball. It'd be nice if they scored here because then they got momentum going into the second uh, second half there. And they with the offense back on the field. They got to give it to Carrillo again. Carrillo tries to bounce it oh. outside. Oh, but yeah, switch it. Go to the corner. He's the corner. The the corner. Hit him. Leans in. Wow, and nice looks run. Like he makes the corner. See? Remember what I was telling you before there about running to the corner? But you got to got to give it to Carrillo in to typical Carrillo fashion. He doesn't want to go softly into the corner and tuck it in inside the pole. He wants to knock somebody over and fall forward into the end zone. So well done. Yep. Chip, chip off the old block. Danny would have turned it inside and made somebody pay. So. Uh, great carry by Mr. Cohen Carrillo, 87. So the Knights will try to make it a seven-point game up or trailing 14-6 with 11.4 seconds. Now the Spear Heights have enough in the tank. I'd probably get the ball back at eight seconds to uh, make a make a move on this one. I think they need a big return on the kickoff. Good snap. Again, Pretty nicely good through, done. Yeah, very good. That uh, looks like Boateng on the kick. I didn't see who was holding. Number 84, Amari Valenti Boateng. Nice job yep. with the kick. 14 Makes 7. The convert, and it's now 14 to 7. And of for course, the, the clock did not move on the uh, extra point, so we'll have 11.4 seconds for the Spear Heights Steelhawks. Now, if you're St. Mary's, what's your game plan here? Do you want to put it deep and force them to come to the, the length, or do you scrub kick or onside? Hmm. I think you're happy with the 14 7. Well, you want to get that clock there. moving, so as soon as it hits that ground, the ball starts, right? So, we'll see. Interesting observation. So, Coach indicating as soon as the ball touches the ground, the clock will start. So maybe a short blast along the ground, looking for 20, 30 yards instead of pounding it deep in the air. Again, these uh, returners for Superior Heights have uh, some speed. So yeah, yeah, you don't want them in their hands. You you, you're trying to find New somebody in the backfield there, like the, you know what I mean. Yep. Usually your first <laughs> row is the uh, your first row is the good hands people of your big guys. In case there's an onside kick, your second uh, second phase is usually some guys that don't uh, get to catch the ball very often. So they find a little soft zone over the middle there. We'll see what St. Mary's has uh, in store. Boateng with the kick. Nice boot. And the clock starts now. There you go. See hard, hard drive to Deering. He's looking to set up, looking, waiting for yeah. his blockers. Get you down there. You might have a seam, but... St. Mary is able to corral him and bring him down. Watch for any late flags here. 1.1 oh, 1 .1 left. 1.1, 1 .1, so we'll have Number time for one play. Deering with the kickoff return. He brings it out to the 40-yard line of the first down and 10. Now, do you say a prayer here in the form of a Hail Mary, Coach, or do you just uh, take the knee and uh, go into the... Well, I don't take the knee. You try something. Uh, well, you don't want to throw again because uh, they went down on fourth, uh, fourth down there and they threw that okay. pass. Which uh, we were Heights. talking about earlier. I see how we probably would have punted it and got him deep. Because the defense has been playing well. Might see a little reverse trickery or maybe just a sp uh, pitch to the outside and see if he can catch the corner and uh, run to the to the distance. But uh, 
if you're going to pass, I would assume that they're going to pass over the middle in case, or to prevent the pick six in case of an of a interception the other way. So 1.1 seconds. Let's see what Steelhawks want to gamble with. It's going to run it. They're going to run it in a sweep. They've been consistent with those uh, outside sweeps. And you know what? All you need is one, uh, one block, and uh, our secondary here for St. Mary's needs to roll up and make that stop. They're going to pass. And picked off. Let's go, see go, what go. he does. Behay with the interception. Does he stand a chance oh. to go back? <laughs> One block away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that, that could have been some excitement. <laughs> you had Wooten on the stop. Apparently, uh, <laughs> they keep throwing on the times. I don't know. <laughs> well, when you have a gunslinger like Aaron Rodgers back there, you, <laughs> in junior football, that uh, is an interesting call. But, uh, hey, if it works, they look like a genius. So. They're gonna re. Oh, uh, well, they're over two. Retool. So. Uh, <laughs> and it didn't cost them. So at the break, 14-7, Spirit Heights leading the St. Mary's Knights. A great game. If you're watching, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes after a break from our sponsors.
back. And uh, yeah, the start of the second half, half here. 14 uh, to 7 for Superior over, Superior over the St. Mary's Knights. Looks like uh, St. Mary's Knights will be taking the uh, kickoff return. And uh, big uh, few minutes there at the end there, Coach. Uh, was uh, was uh, St. Mary's getting that pick and then uh, running it down and then almost getting a pick again uh, and uh, getting another touchdown there. But uh, good stop on the uh, Superior Heights uh, defense there with the 1.1 .1 left. <laughs> St. Mary's with a little bit of momentum after that late yeah, uh, yeah. pick and uh, surge uh, to score the touchdown. Almost uh, had another something special at the end of the half. 1.1 seconds left. Uh, Steel Hawks electing to throw it up. Uh, picked off by Bahe, I believe, or Reve. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Good yeah, read, yeah. Uh, without a nice tackle by with the Steel Hawks, it might have uh, turned into a long distance uh, point fest. 14-7 uh, anyway at the half. Superior Heights to kick off to St. Mary's. Looks like Boateng back, as well as Bahe, and a third receiver. Looking to kick deep. Nice kick. Caught. Nope. They don't like the Two catch bounce. in the air, do they, these guys? Making life difficult for themselves. And Setting don't himself stand up a there. big Ooh. pepper. So a nice, nice tackle. 42, Marcus, Spada 42, Marcus Spadafora on the reception. Line, Got it out to the 34 Sanders. before he being met by 34. some Steelhawks. Well, yeah, let's see what kind of, uh, if they can continue the momentum here. Uh, St. Mary's in the uh, second six, half here. They mixed it up there with a couple sweeps and a couple of uh, pitches and a uh, pass or two. Carrillo has been playing uh, very well. So we'll see what uh, what they do here, St. Mary's. And again, within striking distance with a 14-7 lead for the uh, Steelhawks, um, St. Mary's can stick to their uh, offensive game plan, maybe run the ball, bounce it outside, and uh, stay away from the air attack just yet until they get desperate. But nice stop in the Good back. stop. Is that 42? 42 Number or 62? 40, Noah Boyer with the... Straight ahead run gets a yard, makes a second 62, down. 62, Grayson Monero looks like. 62, Grayson Monero. Monero oh, on the tackle. Okay, it's hard yeah. to see. Gain of looks like just one after nice pursuit or, or uh, surge into the backfield. 62, yeah. he was Falls uh, forward for one. Defensive uh, defensive tackle there. Though. Looks like St. Mary's lineman there. Uh, let him off his assignment. block, yeah. yeah. So 72 on defense. Caleb Doyron. Girardi is 68, working the front uh, lines for the defensive side. That's a nice run. Started inside, outside, cut back in. Looked like he gained enough for. Oh no, I think it's Cole just, on just the short. Carry. He goes Cole Reve again. Looks like he gets the first down for the Knights. Looking like the Good signal run. first, so nice uh, pickup on the play. Cole Reve with the nice uh, run. Some very different runners. You got Cole Carrillo lumbering the uh, big big the load. Cole Reve, more of a scat back, jumping, moving back and forth, cuts. It's a nice uh, running, both, both, both uh, uh, yeah, Hard to tackle, both of them. Yep, pretty good. Man in motion, looks like a little bit of motion. We're going left. No, up the gut. Looks like another flag on the play. Only Odds are it's holding. In the defensive secondary, so. Jim Crowley with the flag. On the See what the call is. No gain. There is a flag Reve, no, carry, no gain on the carry. Waiting for the holding yep. against the St. Mary's Knights. Holding against the Knights, and again, a couple of these uh, drives have been uh, snuffed out by these holding calls or these. Uh, it's the third one, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully they can. It's Thirty yards, it's lots. So it looks like St. Mary's is trying to dig themselves a little bit of a hole, but uh, first, down and 20. first and twenty from the thirty-five of St. Mary's. Ten thirty-seven to go in the third quarter. 14-7 Superior. If you're at home and you're watching The Voice, put it on PVR. We can watch that anytime. we got ourselves a great game here. We've got St. Mary's Steelhawks. Reve again. St. Mary's versus the Steelhawks. Reve again, nice to carry. 30 Cole Reve on the carry. Nice carry. Five, Long way to go. Second down and 15. Juke in there in the middle. A couple of nice runs. And five yards is a nice carry, a nice gain on the play, but when you need 20, it Number 48 doesn't even crook the, the start. Tackle. It's just, it <laughs> certainly is a start, but uh, a long way to go yet. Second, Second down. 16. Looks like game four on yeah. the forward progress. Again, a beautiful night for football. Make sure you join us tomorrow. We got oh, the he's rolling out for the, is it a keeper? Yes, it is a keeper. Go. Yeah, we haven't seen that call play call, but we might see ah, it again later. See, he ran out of bounds this time, not snapping there. 
number 12, Alex Hayes on the quarterback keeper. Yeah, great he goes job. on the right side for about 10, makes it third and three. Third and three on the call from Jim Monaco. Third and five. Third and five, yeah. Jimmy's having a hard time seeing over there. And I have the bifocals. Number 28. Jacob Nelson. 28, Jacob Nelson on the uh, tackle. tackle. Credited with forcing the quarterback out of bounds. Brings up third and five, like I said. Let's see what St. Mary's does. Probably an end around. Did Spear Heights looking for the flag? Were they drawn off? No, that should go. Coach uh, into the back. Flag side. down, some movement before the snap. That would be a great for oh, fortunate bounce. Oh, it was no? offense again. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> would have looked nice uh, third and five. That would have drawn a... Automatic first down, but it looks like it goes against St. Mary's, so they're going to back him up, and it'll bring up third, third and, and ten. ten. And again, does that change the play call? I think you're still staying on the ground. Legal procedure against the offense. The five-yard penalty will make it third and ten. Yeah, it'll stick the same. Well, maybe not. They went and talked. Well, we'll see. 9.06 to play. Brings up third and ten. Crucial drive for St. Mary's to get uh, to even. 14-7. Spear Heights leading. We have a free man out here. Our wide, re wide receiver left here looks to be open if he throw the ball oh, to him. Go. He's got him open. Oh, and oh. a nice effort by nice. Boateng, it looks like, to try to come up with that ball. Quarterback Alex Hayes passes. Beautifully thrown ball, just a little ahead of his uh, receiver, Boateng. Boateng falls incomplete. Haven't seen uh, down and ten. Hayes with the long ball, but uh, that was a beautiful pass, 25 yards out. But... Uh, Boateng unable to run under it. So. They better punt this. <laughs> and Boateng back to punt. He had a <coughs> tough time last punt. Uh, for a net of about 10, 15 yards. But uh, they look to push the uh, Steelhawks deep here. So key is uh, usually a good snap from the center. So let's see. Kick what to the left side here would be nice. <coughs> Big kick. Kick away from the receiver anyway. Yeah, let, okay. them, run, let them run to it. Nice snap. Nice snap. Boateng back. And, and another again. high kick. Jeez. Straight up, let's hope for a bounce for the St. Mary's Knights. That looks like it's no, no yards. yards. Even though the Knights player was on the ground there. I don't know if he got knocked down or something. Number 21, uh, Chase Christie. Chase Christie. Fields the punt. That is Field only 44 yards. The line. Punt. There are flags down. And it's been a pretty good game. A few penalties uh, slowing down the pace, but uh, in general... These uh, two offenses marching the ball well, scoring 14-7 for Superior Heights, leading with 8.37 to go. Yeah, I hope the uh, St. Mary's here can get a stop and get that ball back and try to try to tie this game up. Referee's obviously talking. I haven't moved the sticks yet, so the call would be a no yards, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, it should be five yards, yeah. <laughs> so we'll try to reset this and give the uh, Superior Heights ball on the 39 by the looks of it. But we'll see where the spot is. And again, the winner of this game will play the winner of tomorrow's junior matchup between the Cor Colts. Cor Colts. Thank you. And the White Pines Wolverines. White Pines Wolverines. Of course, Cora probably a, a favorite uh, in that game, but uh, you still have to play the game. White Pines yeah. is doing, playing some great ball this year. Two wins on the season. Uh, and a little bit of a comeback uh, from a White Pines standard. Uh, had a little struggles they, uh, over the last few years. but they uh, didn't lose by much the last time they played uh, Cora. I think it was 14-7 was the final. I believe so. And yeah. uh, showing some great promise and uh, looking forward to building on this year and, and moving to next year where they'll field a senior team as well. But uh, first well, John, things first. Jonathan uh, Bujo and uh, Baswell there are building the program up. So Fantastic. Yeah. But not looking ahead to next year. They're hoping to win next uh, next game tomorrow next week, against, yeah. uh, against, Co no against Cora. Against and, uh, the Knights. and maybe upset the... Uh, so is it five? Oh, what 10 yards. 15 yards. 15 yards. Down and 10 for the Steelhawks at midfield. What was the call? No uh, yards. No yards is 15? Yeah. I, <laughs> Maybe it's a personal. Anyway, Spear Heights with a favorable spot. They'll take over at their 54. Just shy of midfield. Mid uh, in motion. Sure, so up the middle. Hands up the middle. Oh, good nice hit. Meet. Nice meet. Nice that? meet by 35 or is that 65? I think LeBlanc. that's Cla Kent LeBlanc, LeBlanc, if I'm correct. LeBlanc, another flag. Uh, another flag. Setting records. What is... Uh, Obviously, the fans are getting a little unruly. Kent LeBlanc. Kent LeBlanc, a nice stop. Met nice in the stop. Middle. Excellent stop. Is that Perot on the, on the carry? And, of course... That was Perot? 
I, I didn't see the carry. All I saw was LeBlanc in the backfield. LeBlanc in the backfield and uh, a big stop. And a flag. No flag. There we go. That's, no what, flag. that's what so we thought no there, Donnie. It'll be second down and 11 for the Steelhawks. wonder if he has uh, extra weights in there like the fishing tournament. I don't know. He's he's gonna, he's gonna, sure I think sales. he has more than one flag, though, I think, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Donnie's a good guy. Great guy. Been at it a long time. And knows his ball. A legend in the uh, flag football men's league. <laughs> Orient Express. Absolutely. Many titles oh. for that Orient Express Daring team. Daring again. Daring again. Met oh. hard and pounded at the stop. Just after the, the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of two, but uh, two. Be third and nine. tough Good. way to make a living when you get uh, a lick like that. So Daring on the, on the carry. Number 65, 65 again, Kent LeBlanc. With the Kent oh, coming up the second half, just like last week, too. Kent was playing well. Again, I think Kent uh, missed a little time uh, earlier this season with some injuries so uh, he looks to be back in fine form ready for playoffs and uh, obviously contributing and helping his team on the defensive side of the ball so they got a full stack in the backfield here you got Perot Travis Newt to hand to number seven get low get low nope. good stop Again, some more great pursuit by the Number defense side. 65. He gets a couple. LeBlanc. Fourth and seven. Deering on the carry. Couldn't see his number. Yeah, yeah Deering. Number 65. 65. LeBlanc, LeBlanc on, the on the tackle as well. Got some help with 71. Wingish. Coach just pointed out that uh, he doesn't see a 40 in Logan Deering. No. So uh, didn't get any reports that he was injured. But uh, No, I haven't seen him out there. I haven't, there. I haven't called today. his name. No, that's why I'm just curious what's going on. Player of the game last week and uh, <coughs> probably them counting on him for some, some hard minutes today. So but was, uh, this, was it? I don't see a snap. It. There you go. Fourth down, looking to punt. And late. Good punt. Uh, Good punt. Yeah. Ran out of bounds, both at 25. Oh, nope, 32. 30. They keep walking it forward. It's like 34 yards. Their, their own 34 wow. So that was a slow developing play. I didn't know if he was going to fake that and try to run it, but uh, just barely got the punt off. Got some nice yardage on it. Out of bounds at the 34, which prevents the uh, big run back. But, uh, lots of time left here in the game. 6.04 in the third quarter. <coughs> St. Mary's taking over on downs here. Looking to march, and we'll see if they go back to the big fella, number 87, Carrillo. Yeah. Or how they spread it around here. Passing like game uh, hasn't worked really on both sides uh, of the ball here. Oh. Noah Boyer. Going away from Carrillo and look to Boyer. Oh, we're going to hold penalty. again. Got a hold after a gain out to the 50. Nice carry Hard on the play, but it might be all for not. Noah Boyer. Depending on the call. However, so. there is a flag down. And again, as running back, that must be killer when you. Get some hard, uh, hard yards. Get the momentum. Nice carry. Holding, yep. Unfortunately, it looks like it's bringing it's it back. It's going to be holding against the St. Mary's Knights. 10-yard foul. It's their fourth and fifth, isn't it's it? Gonna it's going to be fourth and fifth. Yeah. 25-yard line. But they will regroup and uh, facing a first and 20, I guess, from the 24-yard line as they march it off. So we'll see what uh, St. Mary's has to do to get 20 yards and move the sticks. I believe they'll stay on the ground again. Maybe yeah, they maybe get, a, maybe get, maybe their, sweep and get their end a bit here. And around the corner. Up to Noah again. There we go. Throwing forward. Oh, he got uh, tough runner, but five, they did a nice pursuit. Yeah. Nice job by Steelhawks to limit him to a short gain. You don't mind giving up the four or five Number yards 40, when it's uh, first and 20. On the carry. He gets seven, stem stem the tide a little bit and, and uh, force him into a passing situation and another down or so. Yeah. Number six, Will Madaw with the tackle. Will Madaw with the tackle. Oak Brown in motion. Hand off inside. Oh, nobody blocked there. Nobody, nobody blocked nobody. there. Whole left side. Just got a couple yards, but. Uh, 87. Some hard yards for Carrillo. He gets yeah. a couple, makes it third and about 11. Third and 11, so might bring bring up a passing six, situation, Will but Madon, number 62, well, that previous pass they did with uh, coming across looked like a post pattern there. Look, uh, they might try that again because he was open and just uh, let him too much. I think he just has to have another second in the pocket just to relax and allow the receiver to run onto the ball, and he just has to lay it in there. But they elect to run. Goes to Boyer. He's going to fight hard. 
But comes up a little oh, short. Well, he got fourth and fourth and five. 40, fourth and Noah five. So once again, he gets it out to about the 39 Decision yard time for the coaching five. staff for the uh, same areas Knights. Brings fourth up fourth and, and five. And, five. Nice. and yeah, you kick it away. Their punting game hasn't mm. been great, so maybe they might elect to. But yeah, they got to punt that, get rid of that. Their defense had a good stop there last series. Yep. <coughs> so you give the offensive spear heights a short field like that. They might. Uh, yeah. They might punish you for it, so it's a good idea, in my book, to uh, send a deep and force the uh, Spear Heights to march a, a long way. Got to get a good punt here, though. We need a good punt. And once again, the coaches for Spear Heights uh, should be indicating to Deering to move up forward. The last two punts have been very short. Another one, real short, going to be picked oh, up geez. by the under, and again, St. Mary's. He's a he's a punter. He might be able to receive that. Looks like it might be a turnover. After the reception by Boateng. Is it? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's a punter. the punter. Is the punter. By the punter number 84, Mari Valenti Boateng. For those of you that are not sure of the rule we're speaking of. Uh, the punter or anybody behind the punter here. can go after the ball at any time. And if they are the first one to touch it, in this case, uh, Spear Heights took the bounce. St. Mary's. Kicker, yeah, first kick. down. Since he's the oh. punter, he's allowed to recover his own punt. Yeah. So he does get enough for the first down. It's going to be first down and ten for the Knights. So Boateng uh, receives the uh, punt that he kicked and will get first down. That's the best positive yard so far. Maybe you should try that again. <laughs> Do the, qu uh, the quick kick here. Let's go. <laughs> Starting from the 49, looks like St. Mary's will take over or resume this uh, dry drive from their 49. And off on the sweep. 84, oh, nicely broken up. You got to stick to your carry. blocks, guys. You and around the number 84, Amari Valenti Boateng. He's brought down for a loss. It's going to be second down and 13. That play was fun to watch. Developed nicely. Number that not been for that uh, defensive Carson pursuit. Pettit well, the that's the thing. Got the offensive line's got to stick with their guys, and yep. they're not blocking long enough. Yep. But nice execution, but uh, stuffed, uh, snuffed out by Pettit on the defensive side. Yeah. So. Good stop there. Good read. Find the coach for St. Mary's, so I like that play design. We just have to get my uh, lineman to uh, sustain their block. Looks like up the See middle. Again. They'll, they're not sticking with them. No. Nope. Looks like they're looking downfield. The second phase yeah. blocking before uh, taking care of the first Number responsibility. Cole on the carry. Anyway, Reve on the carry. Third and 11. Brings up third and 11. So digging themselves another little hole. Let's see if they show us something different here. They're going away from that Number outside pitch, uh, which I liked earlier. Scott with the tackle for the Steelhawks. Well, one of the runs earlier was with uh, Hayes, there, so we'll see. And Emerson Scott, number 56 on the tackle there. Nice play on the defense. And, uh, third and 11, third and 12 here. Third and 11, oh, looking back to pass. pass. Rolling out with pressure from 63. Block. Looks like he has time to pass, looks downfield and throws out of bounds. Nice ball again, but uh, Quarterback Alex Hayes maybe running for his life. Wyatt Herb chasing. Right sideline, incomplete. It's gonna be fourth Not a receiver long. in the area, but as he's rolling out of the pocket, he's able to throw it out of bounds and save for fourth down. So yeah, fourth and eleven looks like. Yeah, they got. Yeah, they got a punt. They got a punt. <laughs> yeah. Again, the sticks guy is still showing third, but it is indeed fourth and eleven. Eighty-four is a kicker. Right? Yeah. Eighty-four voting. Yeah. See? Maybe maybe we do that trick play again. So again, both things back to punt. Hopefully, good snap. A good snap and a nice he's kick for a change. He's, he's had a little bit of trouble air. with that, but uh, that one he launched off the end of his foot. And Deering unfortunately breaks a few tackles. Fortunately for Deering, brought down oh, out of bounds, but two flags. LeBlanc with the tackle out of bounds. Looks like will be a flag on the play, adding another 15 no, yeah. to a great return. Yeah. Boateng with a beautiful punt on the play. Unfortunately, the return is better by Deering and a flag, which will give the Superior Heights Steelhawks a short field. So again, Boateng finally coming alive with that leg. Got a nice kick there and was able to pound it deep. But see, like I was telling you earlier, you got to catch it in the air. Caught in the air, in stride a bit, gone. And on that flag, looked like uh, LeBlanc, LeBlanc had him under his wraps in bounds, but uh, wasn't able, wasn't there, able yeah. to let up. And uh, and these young kids are full of excitement. Like and, a rough uh, adrenaline might the have uh, got the better of him, but uh, obviously 65 playing a great game on defense. So LeBlanc looking to uh, 
do some more defensive damage here, but we'll see uh, Spear Heights answer right here. Oh, yeah. That looks like Deering and Perot again in the backfield. 2.23 to go in the third That's quarter. A rough play, late hit penalty against the St. Mary's Knights. Late hit, number 65. Penalty. Advances the, the ball down to 20. The ball starts the on the 20. At the, the first and 10. 20. At the Knights 20, yeah. At the Knights 20. So, again, stay tuned there. We've got a great finish coming Three up. Three guys 14, in the backfield there, yeah. That's a full house and a big full house. we got 68. 64 and Girardi. 39, yeah. Girardi, normally a defensive lineman, carrying on a lead. Oh, no. Give it to Pro, but Girardi with the big block. It's always great when you have your big boys helping yeah. out on the inside. Nice run. Four, Albert Perot with another hard run. Perot with the carry. Way down around the 68, Girardi with the lead block, looking like Tom Rathman of the old 49er fame. <laughs> and Girardi happy to stay in the huddle. Uh, Oh, first his, down. His coaches had indicated the that you have to run the distance all the way to the sideline, which is tough for the, the big lineman to do. So he's uh, glad to stay in here and pound again. Inside the 10 now. Oh, we got number 10 back there now. Number 10 in the backfield, 18. Wooten. 18? Oh, it's hard yeah. to see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, six. Mada on the end around. Oh, that was a holding. That was a hold. Yeah. And Mada with a nice gain inside the five, maybe to the three, but may come back with the hold. Curly, yeah, he got pulled down, so that's going to be holding. That's going to be brought back. There is a flag down. That was definitely, he got pulled down, so that be brought back. And again, Travis Newt in the backfield, number 18. That was 18 that carried that, correct? It didn't, no. Uh, Mada, number six, carried the ball. Oh. Uh, Travis Newt on the lead with the, with the block. Again, Cherisola doing a yeoman like job, just executing and leading that team. So it's a holding apparently. Not flashy, but hasn't had to throw the ball too much. Ten yard nice job Kelly dishing the ball and, and spread it around to our many uh, talented receivers and, and backs here. Nice balanced offense when you have uh, so what is it? Travis First, Snoop. yeah, first and uh, 20. Perot and Deering. Girardi again to block. 18. And pounds a big hole. Number Travis 18, Newt. Ben Travis Newt on the carry. He gets the ball. Some boys get face to face. 16. And looks like LeBlanc, LeBlanc, or no, but hey. Late flag on the play. Draws a penalty. Undisciplined play by Superior Heights again. Coaches need to remind their kids that uh, momentum swings very quickly in this oh, yeah. tight game. 14 7 lead for Superior Heights, but uh, they'll back themselves up here. And looks like it'll bring back, unless it's declined. Uh, first and long for the Steelhawks. So we'll wait on a call. No. Myself, I always back them up. Objectionable conduct penalty against the Steelhawks. Back them up. So coach is taking the yards on this one. Yep. Replay the down, but back 15 on an OC charge. Foul, so it should be second down and about 26 or oh, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, see? Oh, so... Perfect. Coach Monaco indicating that's a dead ball foul, which means they won't replay the down. It's after the play had been blown down, dead, so it becomes second down and 26 for the Steelhawks. Charisola under center. Oh, they're passing. He's rolling out. He's got that screen pass again. Short. One Good hopper. coverage, though. Good coverage. Great coverage. Pass intended, pass intended for Deering. Nick Deering on the one hopper, but... Incomplete, brings up third and 26. Number 31, Liam Ouellette with the coverage on the play. Liam Ouellette for St. Mary is on the coverage, so they passed on second and 26. Do they go back to the pass in the air for third and 26? I think they'd have done a nice job with uh, Cherisola handing been, the ball. They've had one, uh, one completist, right? One completion of the passes so far? One for four, one for five? I believe so. Uh, I think they're going to give it to Deering here on the sweep. I would go with my speed yep. when you need 26 up the middle with 64 well, is not again. a bad idea, but ball is completed, but not enough for the first down. Looks like a gain of maybe seven on the Hard play. see who caught that. It's on the far side of the field, so we'll wait for the spot. And again, very... Solo pass is complete to number 39, Nick Deering. Short solo gain on to the Deering. Play. Short gain Fourth on the play. And about 20. Fourth and 20, according to I Mr. Monaco. And fourth and 20. What's your call here, coach? 22 seconds left in the third. 
This might well, be the they last don't have play. a uh, they don't have a kicker. Looks like. Oh. So uh, they're gonna punt it in for the rouge. At least get that. Uh, you know what I mean? Or uh, they make, make it a two uh, two score here. two score game with the rouge. Last play of the first third quarter. Looks like. Let's see what they have up their sleeve. And it seems like Superior Heights a little bit all over the map here. Wooten with the kick. Looking to angle it towards the corner. Get out. Looks there like the Knights will get out. And that's the end of the third quarter. We'll flip the table here, and we'll be back for the fourth quarter in just one moment. The What's this flag, though? I don't know what this flag oh, is. There's a flag down. Looks oh. probably like an illegal formation. There is a lot, again, of, yeah. lot of uh, players running back and forth, and maybe we didn't have enough down linemen. We'll see what the call is, and we'll be back to start the fourth quarter. Again, it's 14-7. Oh, no, uh, Calling the it St. Mary's. Fourth and 15. Fourth and 15. Sting still brings up a punch situation, but... We will play uh, untimed down due to the penalty on the last play. All right. So before they tilt, we're going to have another play because of the penalty. Fourth and 15. Again, Spear Heights. Five yards closer. Do they go for the Rouge again? Yeah, they, they better. The first one didn't uh, didn't work, so. And again, uh, Wooten back to kick. A little bit scrambled on that last play, so maybe he might get a good snap and uh, have a little more protection, get a big leg off, and uh, put it deep in the uh, St. Mary's uh, end zone and prevent them from rushing out for the Rouge or the extra point. So entering the fourth quarter, we have 14-7 lead for the Superior Heights Steelhawks over the St. Mary's Time Knights. Timeout is Steelhawks. called by St. Superior Heights. And they will regroup and uh, decide whether. It's hard to see where the, uh, the first down would be. It's like half the yard line, I think. Eh? Looks like it. Yeah, it looks to be very close to the end zone. So it's all or nothing here for Superior Heights. Do they try a little trickery? St. Mary's expecting the punt with uh, two guys deep to return it. Physical activity, including athletics and organized sports, plays an important role in the lives and education of students. As well, it contributes to their positive health and well-being while also providing a source of enjoyment and entertainment. To enhance the opportunities for families to view their children engaging in athletic activity, the ADSB has partnered up with SueSports.com to stream secondary football, basketball, volleyball, and hockey games as a pilot for the 2022-2023 season. Head over to SueSports.com to see what games we are streaming next and to support and encourage your child's engagement in physical activity. Looks like beautiful weather tomorrow. Another nice day, 14 in the forecast with a little cloudy, but... Uh, uh, beautiful night for football, so come on out and join us. We got 4:45 for the junior tilt between St. Mary's and these. No, sorry, nope, nope. Cora, Cora, I believe. Yes, my bad. Cora versus the White Pines Wolverines. The St. Mary's Knights seniors, my mistake, will take on the Superior Heights Steel Ox in this uh, senior, senior action, yeah. battle to see who will go against the Tom Mann led Cora Colts in the senior matchup for the final next week. Okay, so they are, oh, they did a they play. They do play. And, and there's another a flag. flag. <laughs> Seems to be a common occurrence. So there been two guys throwing flags. What? No, no, there's been three. It's the number 64, <laughs> Albert Burrow. He's down. They run the, the ball. There is I don't know about down. that call. Uh, well, again, if it works, you're a superstar, and uh, they elect to keep I it mean, a seven-point game. That would bring it to a two-score two game. That was Perot, too, scored. Eh? That was Perot on the carry. Yeah. Flags on a play, so they might get another chance, or it might be declined by St. Mary's. Looks like they're talking to St. Mary's yeah. brass, so maybe decline. they will decline there, it. There we go. Hopefully. Take, take over on down. Holding. Holding against. Declined. Spear. So it's First holding down. against the Spear Heights Steel Hawks. The penalty is declined. St. Mary's Knights will take over on downs. To start the fourth quarter, it will be first and. And once again, those penalties and come, and come back to, to hurt uh, both teams. Uh, just well, when you seem to get a little momentum. I think they should have punted it myself. I do believe that uh, my my option would be to punt as well, try to get a two two score game at least. Well, yeah, I mean. And even if you uh, they got to go they for two points it, later if even, they get the yeah. yeah so. Even if they do run it out of the uh, the end zone, they it's d yeah, yeah deep. They they got a, a big long field to uh, to march to uh, score points and tie this game up. Either way, uh, St. Mary's will take uh, over as we flip the field here. It'll be first and ten. Did you see where their starting point is? Uh, no. The ball's on the zero, oh. according to the scorecard. 
Looks like the nine. All right, so Jimmy Fitzpatrick, or is that Donnie? Donnie's is. marching it off to the nine yard line. So St. Mary's from their own nine will begin with 12 minutes left in this game. A great affair, 14-7. Yeah. Keep going. And uh, we'll see what uh, St. Mary's can get out of their end, uh, get out of their end here, and hopefully get some offense uh, together here and uh, have a good, uh, good march. Wear that defense out and uh, hopefully get a score here. And again. Everything as predicted. Uh, Steelhawks are uh, using a a varied offense with uh, many different weapons. Uh, St. Mary's electing to go with Carrillo with a big dose of Carrillo, but this ball goes to number 30, Cole Reve. It looks number like 30, Cole Reve on yep. the carry. He goes around the left side, gets about four, makes so it Cole Reve with a gain of four, second six coming up. All their runs are missing by one block. That's all it is. It is. These guys got to stick with their guys. It's a matter of inches. Uh, St. Mary's backs just looking for one one block one to block uh, bust, gone. bust out. Yeah. Those four turn in the 40. And again, second and six. Ball handed Middle. off inside. Oh, Where's he's he running going? for his Where's life. He Will he get tackled in the end zone? Nice tackle. That? that Boyer? Number 40, yeah, Noah Boyer, Boyer on the carry. He's brought down for a loss. By Boyer able six, to uh, avoid the so end zone. About but Will Madaw with the tackle. Jeez. So bring up, three. bring up third, third and 16 from the three. So, again, St. Mary's unable to get this thing moving, but uh, two more downs. Looks like they'll have to do something fancy here or else they'll be forced to punt on inside their 10. Well, they're on the left half the here. Let's see if they... Uh, Go right. Go to the wide Go side to the of the field. Yeah, wide field here. Let's see. It'd be tough to throw in the pass because it'd be thrown under the uprights, but let's see what they have to plan. Up the gut. Oh, nice those defense. shirt tackles drive me nuts. Nice defense. Brought down. 30 Cole 30. Ray on Cole the carry. Ray getting gets the call again. Back. It's going to be fourth and long. And I see a lot of these inside tackle uh, runs, but I'd like to see the uh, St. Mary's Knights run a little outside. Noticed, some luck. Is, uh, is Carrillo out there? I'd I haven't heard. I haven't had, we haven't called his he name in the, the last, even the last uh, quarter there. Oh, well, he hasn't. Oh, there he is. Yeah, on the field, but okay. hasn't been called. So we'll no. see if eighty-seven gets uh, uh, the ball again. But I would think. He had uh, some big runs earlier. We were positive yards. So yeah. I'm just wondering what's going on here. Fourth and twelve here. They'll have to punt under the shadow of the upright. So is that the punter or is that? Uh, Boateng is in there to punt. He hasn't dropped back to punt. So maybe they're going to try to run this ball, which is a risky call at this juncture. Down four, down seven points. Or maybe that's why we're up here, Scotty. <laughs> it, it, it better be. Oh, they're giving like them two. Okay. So they're going to scramble and kill some time. I don't know what the time they're Alex killing. Hayes. Oh, my God. Go. Go. You might go, have a chance to go, run it out and make go, something of it. Go. Oh, my God. This go, go, go. Why is he? Wait, well, don't. He had to get to the 19-yard uh, line, so we'll see. We'll see where the spot looks a little shy after a long what? quarterback Alex Hayes on the play. Keeper. And what? that looked like they were going back to sacrifice the or surrender the uh, the rouge, but we'll wait on the call here. Ran around the I don't understand end zone. why he didn't go to the. And again, that's a young player not being aware where this first down marker is. I don't understand what the call is here. Are they moving the sticks for Superior? They're going to measure to see if he has a first down oh, or not. So it appears they might be close enough for a measurement. So, Got to get that first down. Referees will he, be. He did the right thing. He was. <laughs> and again, I, I, on that play, leaving I, coach scratching his head here. I don't understand why he didn't just keep going or dive or. He just looked like he stopped, and then that was, ah, that's far enough. He's uh, uh, just short or uh, looking to do the measurement? Physical activity, including athletics and organized sports, plays an important role in the lives and education of students. As well, it contributes to their positive health and well-being while also providing a source of enjoyment and entertainment. To enhance the opportunities for families to view their children engaging in athletic activity, the ADSB has partnered up with SueSports.com to stream secondary football, basketball, volleyball, and hockey games as a pilot for the 2022-2023 season. Head over to SueSports.com to see what games we are streaming next and to support and encourage your child's engagement in physical activity. Oh, everybody 
in the building appeared I went by the celebration on the field and I'm wrong, to so enjoy the celebration of the St. Mary's Knights who lost. looked like they had been granted the first down. But upon further review, it looks like the Steelhawks have been able to I, stop it I on a turnover. I don't know what he was doing downs. there. I don't. And then I think the referees uh, were doing a little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think know. somebody pointed in the wrong direction, confusing the St. Mary's Knights who thought they had had the uh, first down uh, garnered. But uh, nonetheless, Spirit Heights takes over from the 18. So uh, nice play to get out of the end zone by Hayes. Came up just a little short yeah. on the scramble, running out of bounds. He must have thought that he had the enough for the first down. Pearl. Yeah, but he had that whole side. I mean, I don't Ah, that's, that's too bad. Albert Perot on the carry, he gets a couple. That might prove it to be costly for St. Mary's, but uh, maybe their defense can uh, answer here and rescue them. St. Mary's Knights with the stop. Teo Pascuzzi on the yeah. tackle. Teo playing well again, yeah? Yeah. And again, 9-16, here we go. Jeez. Turned out to be an exciting finish here. Hopefully you're watching on SueSports.com. They are, okay. What do we got here? Second down and four. Oh, fumble, a great fumble. finish. Ball oh. hits the dirt. Cherisolo with one of the uh, a rare mistake by him as the fumble exchange play, falls the to the ground, but it's recovered by Steelhawks. Third and eight coming up. And again, nice dry night for football. So haven't had a lot of turnovers. A lot of balls hit the ground, but that one did. Luckily for the Steelhawks, it was recovered. I didn't get the number on the recovery, but. Third and eight coming up. 64 got the recovery. 64, yes. so once again. Yeah, three degrees right now. Though. Albert Perot with the recovery, helping his team oh. on both sides. Looks like offside. Offside, 68. Steelhawks. Flag down the legal procedure against the Steelhawks. It's going to be third and 13. Third and 13. We're going to back them up, and they're going to make a come a long way to score. Hopefully St. Mary's defense, who's been playing great all, all game and giving their offense a chance to get back on the field and tie this one up. Playing very well. So as we wait for the uh, ball to be marched off, we're going to thank again our sponsors, Team Essentials and Domino's Sault Ste. Marie for their continued support of high school sports. 825 left in the game. And with their uh, support for the Player of the Game Awards. Back with a few more sponsors in just a moment following this play. 14-7. Steelhawks looking to extend their lead. 14-7. St. Mary's trying to stop. Fumble ball again. hit the ground again. Hands must be chilly. Fumble on the play once again, recovered by the Steelhawks. It's going to be So I don't think a gain on the play because I think his knee was down when uh, Chirisolo uh, recovered the bad snap. So, again, that center uh, quarterback exchange, a little bit problematic, this, uh, this set of downs for, for the Steelhawks. So that is fourth and 13. Fourth and 13. Do you punt here? Do you rouge? I haven't been able to guess <laughs> anything, Coach. So I don't know. You know what? <laughs> what to expect? So we're gonna I'm going to say run, and then they'll the probably coin. rouge it. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like, yes, it looks like they're punting. Looks like back to punt is that. That's uh, Wooten again, back to punt. So. Is that nine? Is that right? No, ten is the, the, punt, the kicker. Ten, sorry. Yeah. Wooten gets a low kick, and angles it towards the corner. And signal I, from the j I line judge. I can see that where it went. It uh, went. They're spotting it at both the two. It's hard to say. Waiting on the spot right now. These referees Looks have like not punt, indicated yet. Out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Oh my God! So, <laughs> a nice uh, job by Wooten to pin them deep. Uh, St. Mary's another long haul to get to the end zone of the Steelhawks. So we'll see what this running game. Seven fourteen to go, and uh, they're at the. Well, they got 108 yards to go. Oh, 109. <laughs> Inside the one now. So yes. Again, deep pin for the uh, Wooten and the Steelhawks. So a nice job punting for him. And looks like another flag. Is there another offside? Some movement before the snap once again. So Definitely Mar defense. Defense, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So defense, which should bring St. Mary's a little closer to home but against uh, the defense five yard penalty makes it first down and five ball at nice the hard, six good hard first, count anyway, first good hard down count, and yeah. five do another hard count you get a free first down there you so go still leaves you a long <laughs> way to go but uh let's see if they go back to carrillo he's had a great game both inside and outside they also have some weapons there with uh Going hayes up the middle hayes with his own carry he calls his number 
Oh. And again, Cole Reve having a great game carrying the ball. Brian Behe hasn't seen the ball much today, it's but hard maybe. to see who that is. Is that him? Oh, we have a man down. We'll bring you the number, the condition. Quarterback Alex Hayes on the keeper. He gets a couple. Alex Hayes on the carry. It's hard to see who. Uh, Gain of about four on the play. No, nope, I'm sorry. Lost. Second and. No, he's got to move it up. Yeah. Okay, so we'll wait for the spot. They're attending uh, to the uh, injured uh, St. Mary's Knight it's hard to see who on the right field, now. but <coughs> we'll get your number and a name as soon as we can. And again, back to my uh, sponsors. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little cold here. My brain's frozen. Um, speaking of freeze frame photos, www.sportssusports.smugmug.com. Bob Davies doing a great job uh, with the photos here on the sidelines. You can visit uh, suesports.com and Get in contact with him in case you want to purchase any of those uh, beautiful yeah, memor yeah, he memories. Yeah, he takes some uh, really good shots there, does, Bobby. Does a really nice job. And as he does uh, covering all the basketball, football, grounds, uh, yeah, yeah. hockey in town. GFL Memorial Gardens on board this, with us this year, um, along with Country 104.3. Also 100.5 on the dial is KISS FM, Agoma District School Board, and Huron Superior College District School Board. Both sponsors of high school football, of course, and Elite Eight Basketball Academy. So once again, thank you for joining us on SueSports.com. We can be here. You can hear us every game through the playoffs, both junior and senior. Tomorrow we have another double header, and again, let's help me with this one, Coach. Tomorrow the juniors square off with Cora and Swipeines. Swipeines. Yes, Cora and Swipeines. So. There you go. They're doing a job tomorrow That's at 4.45 in the junior. The junior, the junior. junior. Yeah. And again, these two teams, the St. Mary's Knights and the Steel Hawks, will meet in a senior, senior tilt. Yeah. And the winner, of course, will go to so the, it's going to the be championship the following Friday against the Cora Colts, who finished first it's by virtue of their uh, plus off the field here. Can't get a number on the injury. It looks like a leg injury, but it doesn't look too severe as he's going off with the assistance of a trainer. I believe it may be the uh, quarterback Hayes on the injury, so we'll see who comes in as their replacement at the center snap. So I think Cole, Cohen Curlow has taken a few snaps in practice uh, as Hayes' replacement, but we haven't, to, haven't confirmed yet that that is Hayes. But uh, we'll see when they break for, their, for the snap of the ball. Might be uh, yeah, a direct snap. There. Yeah, direct snap to Curlow. Direct yeah. snap to Curlow. Hands off. And looks like an no inside handoff, again, or man. I don't know. I think it was a misplay. They got miscommunication there. The play there results in a loss of okay. yards. A loss of one on the play, so it brings back second and. No, they lost more than that. Oh boy. Well, it's third and. Maybe third down and six. Third and six. Loss of four or five, at least on the play. So third and six. They'll need this one to avoid a punt situation. Pin deep in their zone. And again, looks like Hayes might be out for the Knights. Leaving Carrillo to the Wildcat and uh, taking yep. snaps. He might call his own number. We'll see what coach has okay, in store here. here. Timeout, St. Mary's. There we go. Okay. All right. Timeout called by the St. Mary's. Yeah, they need that. That's and the first one in the half, I think, from both teams, if I'm correct. I believe. I think yeah. maybe maybe uh, um, Steelhawks had one in the first half. But uh, anyway, they reset to two or three uh, per half in the in the second half. Two. So two timeouts. So the first one taken by St. Mary's, it looks like. Maybe they'll try to reorganize and give Hayes a little bit of time to uh, collect his thoughts. And in uh, high school, I believe they have to sit out a minimum of three, three, I think, three yeah. just to make sure that uh, it is indeed uh, that they are fit to play. So uh, five fifty seven to go. Coach, what's your game plan if you are the St. Mary's Knights now? Right now, okay, what do they got there? Third and third and six, eh? Well, they're on the left hash, so passing game hasn't been doing uh, all that much tonight. Uh, obviously, the starting quarterback is out right now, so I don't know how uh, how well Cole uh, throws. He might be a quarterback keeper and uh, have those guys block for him. He's been running well tonight. He's uh, he's got over over ten carries already tonight, so positive yards every carry basically. So uh, that's what I'd do. I'd let him keep it and. Uh, have a couple guys block for him, get outside, and hopefully get a new uh, new four downs. 
And again, the beauty of football is you, uh, even if you know what the player, what's coming to you, or the tendencies for the coaches or the offenses, what they're going to do, um, you still have to execute. Uh, so for my money, it's Carrillo uh, on the end around. He can turn it up inside if he needed to, a big body, but he can also get to the corner and see if he can gain some extra yards. So we'll see what uh, Coach Parlo and Co Coach Carota have up their sleeve. We're looking at third and six. Third and six. Fans making some noise here, trying to get that 12th, 13th man. Bad snap Snap again. is low. Oh, there we go. Carrillo is going to make the corner. Oh, missed the block. Go, go, Boyer go, go. missed the block. Oh, guys, guys. But a great pursuit by the Steelhawks uh, secondary Cole coming up Carrillo to stuff the, the ball. He breaks a couple tackles, but he only gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down and five. And once again, one, one block. Uh, Look, some one of the uh, Knights uh, blockers looking to second phase before. Uh, yeah. Before looking up field too up soon. Yeah, you gotta stick with your guys. Anyway, nice, uh, nice ball. That could have, if it had been a nice cleaner snap, that uh, he might have made the made the corner and had a chance to, to pick up the first down. As it stands, they're fourth and four, so I see another timeout. By the Saint Mary's Knights. Another timeout by the Saint Mary's Knights. So that brings it, all done. for them. Yeah. So, let's hope that that doesn't backfire and cost them going down the stretch here but uh maybe they didn't have the right personnel in or the right play call so they'll regroup and run a long way back to the sideline to <laughs> again <laughs> to get that call yeah so. maybe they're working on Hayes here and then yep and that's the time yeah that was three plays so if he's available maybe we'll see Hayes but uh again fourth and four do you bring up the punt team or well uh, I mean uh, lots of time left St. Mary's defense last couple uh Last couple of series has been playing pretty good, so you might have to. Well, I got a good punt, obviously. And no defensive turnovers yet. I wonder if that's the order of the day. Maybe somebody will come up with big for the uh, Steelhawks, or if the ball is over on oh, down. Oh, they picked there earlier, eh? St. Mary's. Oh, two my of apologies. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yes. I was thinking fumble recoveries, but yes, the uh, interceptions were a big uh, factor towards the end of the first half, and uh, that's where the score left off. 14-7 since the first half. St. Mary's marching now, not marching, but uh, looking to move the sticks and uh, bring it up a fourth and four. So this could be one of their last uh, ditch efforts, uh, barring a defensive stand by the Knights. Of course, Superior Heights looking to get into the backfield to disrupt things. I don't see, think we'll see a pa uh, pass here, but uh, again. 5.16 to go in the game. Cohen looking to take the direct snap. Oh, back to punt. There we go. And uh, another kick, end over end, caught in the air. By Deering, yeah. By Deering, had his going shoelaces. Outside. Gets oh, he's to the got corner. the blocks, look at that. And he makes uh, it in good run. for the good touchdown. Run. Excellent. Oh. Nice punt return yeah. there. For a touchdown. There is a flag down, though. Flag oh. on the play, though, so St. Mary's is hoping flag? it's against the Steelhawks. Oh, Let's we'll see what the spot. Did you pick it up already? Now there is no flag. I don't see. Jim Monaco calling a flag on the play, but uh, we'll see what. Could have been those. Demarc. Those, those colored shoes uh, they all have out there. <laughs> Hard to tell flags or shoes. And again, Deering with a nice return. Looks like he oh, could have been a flag. challenged at the one. But he's able to pound it in. And looks like Wooten will be out again for the extra point. So, so there's no flag, and it's a touchdown. For the no flag. Right touchdown <laughs> 20 to 7. There's a, a flag. flag. There's a no flag. No, there's, there's no flag. Out of bounds. There's no. So an exciting finish coming up here, 20 to seven, five minutes left. Unfortunately, St. Mary's has no more oh, timeouts available. Dylan, Good Wooten. Kick. Dylan Wooten just above the bar. Brings his kicking game to a perfect to three for three lead. for point authors today. And 21-7, two converted touchdowns, the difference for the Steelhawks. And again, much closer game than last week. Yes. Uh, so the St. Mary's has made some nice defensive adjustments holding the uh, Steelhawks to 21 points, but still trailing 14 points, 5.02 to go. And again, we'll hope to see, or we will see, uh, whether this, uh, the lack of timeouts by the Knights, as they used up two in the last uh, drive, whether that uh, is gonna be a difference in the game. But uh, they'll have to go to their whole hurry up offense, but before that, they'll need to- Have a good stop here. Have a good stop. Oh no. Oh no, they, no they sorry, they take over there. Yeah, they they receive yeah. the kick, so. Yeah. So they'll have to quick score and then get back on offense. 
Defense. <laughs> no, get back on defense. <laughs> Hopefully, after a big stop, we'll re return their offense to the field to try to tie this game up after their the next series. So, these guys in the back gotta move up. And catch, again, catch us in the air. Yeah. And again, the ball hasn't been flying tonight, so uh, either either uh, kicking the side. So, St. Mary's appear to be way back at the 25. Let's see if Wooten can uncork one. Kicks one to the 30. So, ball is received by Boateng at the 30. He has a scene, gets out to oh, the 52. Good. Nice return by Boateng. And a nice tackle by 56, it looks like. Emerson Scott. Five so. minutes left in the fourth. Amari Valenti Boateng with the... And a great finish coming up here, gang. 14 score, 14 tonight. points is the difference. 21-7 for the Steelhawks. But St. Mary's hoping to march this down, score quickly, and then get their defense back on the field. Hopefully get another chance for a score. But first things first, first and 10 on the 52-yard 52, 52 line. <coughs> so just inside the midfield. Hard to see who's, uh, who's quarterback here. Uh, I see Cohen in the backfield. There's yeah. uh, Boyer there too. Looks like uh, number 30, Cole Reve back in that backfield as well. So now they're running guys onto the field. So Apparently didn't realize offense was on. Might as well need, He's only might as well put 12 in. Only alignment, yeah. There's go, Grillo, go. looks oh, like to go, go outside. Go. He has go. a corner. Good shoot through by one of the D linebackers. Number eighty-seven picked up Cohen again at row four on the play, but keeper he gets a yard, makes a second down and nine. Oh, my eyes are crooked. I saw a pick up a four, only a pick up of one on the play. Anyway, Spotted at the number did he? eighty-seven. Carter Spotted at the fifty-two. So the fifty-three. My bad. Four twenty left in the fourth quarter. Carter Nebel on the tackle for the Steelhawks. St. Mary's needs a little more yards than that. They got some first downs here quick. Second and score. nine. Looks like they had too many blockers there, and Curlo couldn't get uncorked. So they're going to go sweep right now. Curlo's with the, the play. Here. Here's Boyer Push pushing, pushing. He's got the corner. Gets out of Good bounds. Run. First down. After the first down. Inside. Curlo around the Both right the 46, 47 yard down. line. So being first and 10 from the Steelhawks, 47. By number 28. St. Mary, Mary's marching Jacob nicely. Let's see if they continue this. Yeah, they got to keep moving. As the Steelhawks try to yeah. stem the tide here. Yard line. Clock is stock, stopped at 4.03 to go. Oh, clock is in. First and 10. And St. Mary's needs to hurry up because they don't have any timeouts and the clock is running at the blow of the whistle. So. Important minutes here and seconds ticking away, especially down oh, two he's scores. Now. There we go. Pitch. Okay, there's the pitcher. Oh, reverse. reverse. Watch the reverse. He's there got it. Go. He's got the corner if that man can go. He's got the corner. He's oh, wide he's open. Gone. 87 has a chance a block, to answer. A block. He's looking back to the inside and he might go. Oh, the. Or reaches for the goal line. Do they mark it? Ladies and gentlemen, exciting finish in store here. He dove in. He dove in. Did he have a knee down Number, before he no, crossed the plane? He didn't have a Amari knee. Valenti. Boateng. Boateng with the, the carry. He brings a it wonderful. Down inside the five yard line. And a great play for the Knights. It'll be first and goal. Big play with 3.30 left. Great play by William Iodens to pick, but Touchdown, not. Saving yeah, that was a good, yeah. yeah. He let off there at the right time, yeah. yeah. There was no, uh, no blocking from behind or nothing. Yeah, it was a good play. Engage on the tackler, but. Was it able to be disciplined and uh, release and uh, what are you calling Boateng here, coach? get around? They call Carrillo up the middle. Uh, hey, <laughs> they better smash most football. <laughs> yeah, go, go with your big hog. Go forward, go forward. He's a big Push him back. in. There we go. Big back, lots Touchdown. of power. There we go. One yard off the line. Why not? Right, straight up, straight ahead. Yeah. Quarterback keeper number eighty-seven, Cohen Carrillo. Cohen Carrillo in touchdown. on the tackle or on the touchdown rather, running it in from inside the five, maybe a touchdown run of two. So, don't go away. We've got some a great finish ahead of us. We got 3:20 on the clock. Looks like uh, Boateng back to try the extra point. Yeah, it'll, this is huge. This is huge. Cohen Carrillo with the uh, hold. Of course, if they miss this, they can always convert the two on the next touchdown if they are fortunate enough to get to the end zone again. Superior Heights looking to cause some havoc here. Snap is good. Cold hold is good by Carrillo. Boateng puts it up Ooh, and it's good. Yes, nice. Excellent Sorry, execution by the St. Mary's Knights. So that brings it Conrad to a one-score game, 21-14. 320 21. left in the game. A little cool up here in the booth, isn't it, Coach? Yes, it is. I wish I was playing. 
<laughs> be a lot warmer. It sure was. Well, yeah, yeah. And go, then, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, it would be a lot warmer, and uh, we'd be sitting here. Uh, we'd be in, uh, in in the middle of the game and uh, not Play calling him. the game from up here. Playing Bruce Springsteen on your uh, Spotify <laughs> with the, the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the, it wasn't one of my top choices, but okay. <laughs> I just like to reminisce back to when the back didn't hurt. There you go. It's more the knees now. Yeah. Well. All right, we'll see. What the oh, it looks mm, like the hurry up package to the kickoff. 320. 320 to play. The fourth. Uh, don't go anywhere. I don't think they're we got a great finish in store here. Well, who knows? We could be gambling here and try a little uh, pooch on side, a uh, little, little uh, sliver esque. Sliver esque. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Shout out to Mr. Steve McLeod. Yeah, he, uh, coaching he enjoys with the, uh, the uh, Steelhawks. He enjoys the uh, slippery plays on uh, kickoff. And both turning back booted. to kick. Oh, oh, they got the onside. First on, first up. Oh, oh, oh. Ball's loose. And Look good, uh, looks like Spear Heights might have recovered it, but St. Mary's had all kinds of opportunities for that yes, one. Yes, they did. Looks like the kicker was the only one in, in on the play. St. Mary's well, had close. needed a couple of gunners, but uh, Steelhawks were able to recover it. From their 45, they'll try to I run the clock jumped down. I thought they jumped there earlier. I don't know. Yeah. I thought, yeah. Of course, it didn't take a, a St. Mary's bounce. It uh, was pretty favorable for Spear Heights. It went about 20 yards. Got a couple of big rolls forward. And the first two guys missed it there, St. though, too. St. Yeah. St. Mary's not able to capitalize, but uh, their defense has been playing well, so maybe Winga Shawana can come up with a big stop yeah, here. Yeah, we haven't heard Winger's name in the, the last quarter here, so. Let's see, hey, if here. Let's get a Let's see if LeBlanc can uh, bring something to the table here and on defense. Looks like oh, a big good stop. Good stop. We'll see what looks like uh, Boyer in on the tackle with a host of other uh, Knights tacklers. So we'll get the call. Who had the ball there? It's hard to see. Are they running parole again? I don't see. Hard to see. As I used it's to. Wait for Jimmy to make the call. I no couldn't gain on the play. Makes it second down and 11. Stopped at this line of scrimmage. No, second and 11. Couldn't so. see who got the ball there. Oh, three minutes left. Three, miss, uh, three minute whistles yeah. are in. There's a three minute warning. I think Spear Wright's be better served to. Tick off about 20 seconds each time here. Try to run the clock down, prevent uh, St. Mary's from having an opportunity. Ball heads outside, there's Perot. He's got the corner, but it chased down from behind. Looks like it's gonna be short. Maybe a gain of six on the play. Albert Perot, Albert Perot cuts the distance in half the for moving the sticks. Third and, third and five coming up. So again, nice job on the backside pursuit. I thought that Pro Wingish. had a corner. Huh. There. Just Shawana. as I say it, look what happens. Big Wingish comes in there and makes the, makes the stop. Nice stop. So again, LeBlanc, Wingish. 75 in the Help defensive out, side. They're gonna stop in the backfield. Looks like a loss on the play. Brings it back to the original line of scrimmage. Might bring up fourth Bumble and ten. Bumble on the play is recovered by number 64, Albert Bumble Perot. on the play, recovered by 64, Loss, Perot. Fourth and ten for the Steelhawks. Fourth and ten. We've got a decision here, Coach. Whew. Well, you gotta, you got you to gotta kick it deep. you got to get out of here. He says it very casually, as, he, as though he wouldn't lose his job if it goes squarely. So, looks like Wooten's back. And like Coach said, looks like a... They're going to elect to punt. I would roll up my receivers for St. Mary's. Oh, Kicks have been short catch that, all catch day. Catch that, catch that. Oh, my. Why didn't he catch it? 31 has a chance to catch it, but hey, but it's picked up by Boateng. He's going to try to run the ball. Let's hold on to that ball. A big shot by number 63, by number Wyatt Erb. Nice hit on the play. 54 yard line. Yes, good tackle. So first down and 10. A little surprised at that, that, uh, that secondary Receiver didn't want didn't yeah, want to didn't want anything to do with that right ball. To, uh, yeah. He was running right to it, and uh, I don't know what he's just looking up like. Maybe a little bit of nerves. Maybe well, he's told the block. He's told the block, and he's, he's doing not what told, he's told. So. And all of a sudden, the ball goes to him, and that's these young athletes are faced with a lot of pressure, a lot of excitement in their dying well, minutes of the game. So. They haven't been in the game like this, right? Yeah, and they got the ball back with 2:09 left in the fourth. Great opportunity. Yeah, so. things can happen. Again, they'll have to move the bad snap oh. like that. Carrillo is able to recover, <laughs> but brings it back to the 45. <laughs> wrong way, guys, wrong way. Nice job of Spear Lawson to pursue on that. Down and 19 for Forcing Carrillo to pounce on the ball. 
That brings up second and 19. So increasing the distance for the march to 206 to play. Only three tickets, three seconds ticked off the clock there. So time's still in. Still lots of time, but St. Mary's out there to get up on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. This is where your hurry up offense practiced that you practice all week uh, comes into effect. 206 started the clock. Now we're down to 150. So 16 seconds lost oh, nice. on the clock. Nice carry though. And clock late stop. flag. Oh, and late flag. Who's carrying that ball? Is that Carrillo? Yeah, yes it was. With a lead block by Boyer. Colin Carrillo on the keeper. He gets about 12. So, so again, a flag down at the end of the play. The keeper with Carrillo. Flag on the end of the play, gain of about 12. They had second and 19, so it'll bring up a oh, third and seven. Look at this. Except we're getting a penalty. It's probably it's another like objectionable conduct. Did you see the play where the I did not flag? see uh, what happened there, but it's going to be a 10 or 15. Oh, oh. In the pile, they'll start matching. Face mask, 15. So there you go. Face mask penalty against the Spirit Steelhawks. So that insult yards, injury after a 12 yard gain. Run. First 15 down. more yards brings up 27 yard St. gain. And there's a buck 45 left in the game. Now, once again, it might take a couple of runs or plays to get to the end zone. So, St. Mary's has to be up on the ball and moving efficiently because seconds matter at yeah, this point of the they, game. Uh, okay, with a stop of a penalty or uh, out of bounds, the clock will not stop until the ball snapped. So, okay, so they're from the oh, 30 time out, time out, superior. Must be safe. Time out called by the Superior Heights Seahawks. <coughs> and that brings us to 145 to play. Superior Heights using their first time out of the second half. Of course, St. Mary's Knights without any timeouts leading towards the end of the game. So this is where you might talk to Carrillo who has to go under center. Maybe he has to ground the ball and stop yeah, the clock. Or uh, run out of bounds, make sure you get out of bounds and stop that clock. And this is where it's tough when your second quarterback hasn't had the reps in practice. He might not be familiar with all those uh, nuances of the game. So let's hope they can uh, use this timeout to explain that to 87, who's under center. Yeah. And again, Superior Heights looking to make the big stop here to extend their season. Of course, the winner goes on to next week's final. I believe that final is Thursday evening. We'll confirm with that uh, with uh, Mr. Houselander and get back to you with the final for next week. And of course, the winner of this game will play the winner of the Cora White Pines tilt that goes on tomorrow at 445. So we have first and nine, first and 10. First and, yeah, nine, yeah, should be 10. You can run that reverse right now. I think they're just gonna set Looks it like up. Looks like they oh. just pile ahead. They need seven. Field goal won't do it for them, so no, no, they need seven for gain sure. of about three or four on the play. Brings up second Curlo and seven-ish. Curlo again. He's had an excellent game tonight, defense and offense. And I think right now I give uh, Curlo a spell and pop it out to one of these guys, maybe Boateng on the end around, or maybe Well, that reverse worked Boyer. for them well there the other night, so uh, yeah. the, other, the, other, uh, the other series, so we'll see if they do that again here. Set that up. That ball away, Curl. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Curlo carrying a pile with him. And Good looks, run. Looks like we have a junior final Cole next Thursday, October 27th at 545. So once again, the winner here tonight will take on the winner of our game tomorrow between the Cora Colts and the White Pines Wolverines. Yes. Again, join us next Thursday, 545 start for the final. And tomorrow night. And we'll be here. Tomorrow night for some senior action. We got 115 left. Clock is ticking. That's where they got to stop. What the we ball. got here? Third and three. Yeah, taking lots, three. a lot of time here, guys. Taking a lot of time. Straight up the middle. And, and they got a handoff inside to go to Boyer. Another oh, flag on the play. Flag the Maybe play. a hold. Doesn't look like he had enough to make the first down. So that'll bring fourth, depending on our Number flag 30, here. Cole Reve on the carry. Spear he Heights is hoping it's not against them. Down. And of course, if it's against the. St. Mary's Knights will probably be backed up, bringing up a, another third and Trying long. To see oh, he's talking to the Spear Heights yeah, players, so it's against St. Mary's. Up, so it looks like it's going to be holding against the St. Mary's Knights. They got to back him and up. They're so gonna, they're going to back him up because they're going to go for it on fourth down yeah. seven. So with 104, and again, these seconds are crucial, Coach. When they got to hurry up. 
Got to use the hurry up offense, which is a tough to do in the, so in, the, in the pro ranks. So bring the ball back to the 40 yard line. It's going to be third and 13. For ball back to the 40. Ball. They'll have to make the 27 yard line to uh, move the sticks. And with 104 to play, we're looking for a great finish here. Thanks again for joining us and your support of high school football. Again, third, under third and 13. Go, ball go, go, out. Go, 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 He's go, got go. a lead block with Boyer. Boyer pushes. Curlo has oh, a chance to tackle. make it. Oh. It'll be depending on the spot. Close. Very close. close. Nice Curlo tackle on Curlo. The he goes around the left side. Tackle by the Steelhawks. Gets down to about the 31 yard line. It down to the 31. Fourth and four. Fourth and four. So Jeez. still got a ways to go. Didn't get the tackler on the Spears height side, but uh, a nice job to come up and uh, make the stick on Curlo. Bring up fourth yeah. and four. So with 56 seconds left, do you need to hurry? They got one play to oh, the move the sticks. Moving, yeah, they got to hurry up here. Clock is going. I call Carrillo up the middle. They go off tackle. Looks like Superior Heights is in the backfield, and no that block, will yeah. stop. Forward progress. Carrillo on the keeper. He goes Looks left. Looks like he had enough to make there, the corner, but down. Str short strung out. Be first down and ten for the Superior That brings up Steelhawks. first down for the Steelhawks. Turnover on downs. So still lots of chance for... Uh, error, but with 43 seconds, no timeouts like, left. No timeouts, can't stop the clock. Looks like Superior Heights has a chance to close this out. But again, in uh, junior football, are we able to uh, rule this done deal for right now? Ah, uh, it's yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, if they you do it right, they uh, only should needs. be able to take a knee, like, especially with four downs, too, right? Yep, yeah. should be able to take a knee for uh, three plays and run the clock out. Obviously, the uh, clock will start on the command of the umpire. Once he blows the whistle, the clock will start. He blew the whistle. I think it's uh, because of the change of possession here. It's on the snap, oh, right? For the first down. That's correct. Turnover on down. So next down will be on Almost the whistle. Almost offside, too, I think. And long to keep it on the ground. They elect not to take a knee and run the clock out. So now they're just going to pound the ball, two hands on the ball, and close it out. So 37.3. Two more plays, 20 seconds per play. They should be able to yeah. run the clock out. But start here in a second. But again, uh, Spear Heights Albert elected to run the ball, the which means they could put the, put the uh, ball on the ground, and the Marines might get a last chance to do it. But well, Take your time, guys. No rush. Oh, they didn't start. Yeah, they start the clock. They started the clock now in a quick snap, and they elect to run it again. Dangerous swarm tackling by St. Mary's. They might be able to strip a ball loose, and strange things happen. I would, yeah. I would have thought they would take a knee and run the clock out, but again, that's why we get paid a slice of pizza to be here. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like 64, Alvo Perot on the carry again. He gets out to the which, four. Which for the uh, those guys are going to take their time. Yeah, they can run the clock down now to the eight second mark. Yeah. And it's only being, with it only being a second down, they should be able to run this out. But there you go. Again, if they elect to run and the ball is stripped or a bad exchange, never say never. Yeah. Well, to all our fans out here of high school football, thank you for joining us. This has been a great game. We'll see how it finishes. Superior Heights and should be able to. Oh, down, pull the whistle. And again, down to 4.5 oh. seconds. Looks like fight going to break out. Carry once again. And unfortunately, terrible way for the game to end. After a well-played game, very disciplined, but cooler heads must prevail. So there'll be flags on the play, 4.5 seconds. They might just run the clock here. One more knee down. And again, to the superior side, I don't know why I don't take a knee and let the clock run out with, with a first down inside of 40 seconds. We'll see what the nope, judges he's, he's rule. Up. 64 is not going down, oh boy. All right, so they've ejected a few players. We'll get some new uh, sub substitutions in and we'll try to finish this in a sportsman-like manner. Well, I think it was on Superior, uh, Superior Heights side. Strange things happen in the last minute of the game, especially when it's out of reach. 
Looks like Superior Heights Steelhawks will emerge victorious, barring something drastic here at the end. 4.5 4 seconds yeah. left to play. A great fought game by both sides. A well executed all, all, game. All, all, all the penalties are in St. Mary's. Yeah. So okay. it's like two of them, two personals, whatever. So about what, 20, 30 yards here? What we got? And Steel Hawks Steel 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 have to be careful, though. And they play next week. Uh, they don't want to lose anybody to suspension. And here's another flag on the play. What is he throwing? So a late flag for Donnie Chow. We'll see where that came from. And we'll see if the ball marches back further. So a big shout out to all our players here. We should be commended on a great game. Tough way for us to end this game, but... Uh, Looks like in 4.5 seconds, the Steelhawks will advance to the city final for the junior championship against the winner of Cora versus White Pines nice. tomorrow at 445. So be sure to join us here on SiouxSports.com tomorrow at 445 for the junior game between the Cora Colts and the White Pines Wolverines. These two same teams, the Steelhawks and the Knights, will play in a St. Mary or sorry, in a senior tilt tomorrow to determine the finalists going against Cora next week um, in the city championship, which I believe is Friday at 7.30 here at your yeah. Superior Heights uh, Stadium. So um, looking to close this one out. Once again, thank you all of you for joining us, our wonderful families, our athletes, our school boards, our teams. We're proud of this effort tonight. A great game won by the Superior Heights Steelhawks, 21-14. And so the Superior Heights Steelhawks taking the lead. Yeah, and the uh, we're going to go MVPs tonight to for uh, the St. Mary's uh, Juniors. We're going to go uh, Colin Carrillo. Excellent game on defense, even better game on offense. And uh, Albert Perot again. So excellent game on offense and uh, both uh, both uh, good candidates for the for the MVPs tonight. Excellent. So Albert Perot, number 64 for Superior Heights, uh, the winner of the player of the game. Cohen Carrillo, number 87 for the St. Mary's Knights. Make sure you save some for your sister, Chloe. And the Superior Heights Steelhawks next week will go head to head versus the winner against of uh, tomorrow's game between the Cora Colts and the White Pines Wolverines in the junior final Thursday, uh, 5.45 next week. The winner, uh, sorry, tomorrow we'll have our senior semifinal between these Superior Heights Steelhawks and the St. Mary's Knights with the winner advancing to a game on Friday, 7.30, uh, carried here on SiouxSports.com. Once again, thanks everybody for coming, us, coming out tonight yeah, yeah, or for thing. listening to us. Thanks for uh, Matty Tucker for joining me here on the, Thank you, Scotty. On the mic. Um, again, a great night for football. We'll see you again tomorrow, and uh, have a great evening. Take care.